Larvia. All right, so just so everybody's aware, yeah. I, I am going live, so okay. you can talk as much smack as you want. Just realize okay. the world can see you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, your, your squadron on the left there is the Battlefleet 2nd Division, 3rd Division, and then uh, the bulk of the Cruiser Division. And we'll we'll help him. We'll help him. Right. Out. I mean, we're we're, we're going to help each side do their right, things. Right. It's this is purely for this is a learning experience for learning someone. experience for everybody. Okay. But of All course, right. me and Walter are going to try to kill each other. So. All right. Helm, 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 helm. Where? Okay. State of turn sixty. All right. That's what I needed. All right. So while we're while you're going over that, why don't we go over the Russian order of battle anyway as a whole here? Um. So we have the Russian. Uh, the Imperial fleet coming from from the south, let's see, south southwest, I guess. Right, this is right. North. I'm, I'm, I'm denoting this. This compass is just pointing north. It's not a wind indicator. Um, so the top of the table is over here, if you will. That is north. Uh, the Japanese Imperial fleet is coming due south southwest. I believe is the degree 200 220 250 yeah yeah um the only thing with tabletop simulator just so everybody's kind of aware is it's not very good at granular um rotations i think the default is 15 degrees so so uh you can comment as much as you want that we're not really using true courses but you know what we're gonna do what we can so <laughs> all right now Let's just kind of just very quickly review what's here for the, um, I was about to call them Soviets, but they're not quite Soviet yet. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we may form some by the end of the yeah, you, you can, You might just go ahead and create your own and just go off into a Pacific island and you might as well. Right? If you want to go ahead and surrender too, that's it's just a It's just a workers' okay. meeting. All right. We just need to talk it out. Yeah, just talk it out amongst yourselves. All right. So we have up here, we have the first division, which is Suv Suvorov. Alexander III, Borodino, Orel. We have two cruisers, Jemtig, Izumrud, and there is a destroyer flotilla here. In this case, it's depicted as a division. Um, now, what I didn't do is, I, as I said before, but I'll say it for the camera's sake, is I did not do the individual ships. We may designate it later if we have to. I don't. I don't believe we necessarily have to. I have a lot of rules sets in my head right now, so I can't remember the right. flotilla combat. All right, but we have a second destroyer flotilla back here. The Russians uh, have not nearly as many overall ships. They do have, I mean, they're more powerful and more protected, um, but lim you know, limited in number. So this is, this is actually quite an, quite an interesting battle. Um, I think it's generally generally balanced. Not uh, we're not trying to do that. It just historically, that just by the numbers and by the tonnage and by the uh, the weight of shot, if you will, it's a roughly balanced match here. So thank you for joining the Russian side. We're doomed. Yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, the one thing I don't know if the scenario we need to go back and read the scenario, but I'm assuming the scenario doesn't throw any snags at the Russians as far as being you know depraved and 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 uh, uh <laughs> not depraved but uh, that wasn't the right word um <laughs> tired from from coming across the planet right they, yeah. they, weren't, weren't they uh fatigued there yeah. you go uh, the ships were fatigued as well but i don't i don't know if there is let me look in this oh one thing we didn't do last time was this uh tarpy one the small chance that the signals will not be seen so i have to remember that which chart is that again? B1. B1. All right, Apparently you roll every turn to see if, if they just didn't see your signals. So, yeah, so I looking at the that... scenario, there the, the, the does not appear to be any special rules. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. And I, I think I would probably revoke them for our training sake here anyway. Yeah. But um, my my assumption is that the, the knots would have been limited for the Russians at this point, but they, you know, if they didn't get into that. That's fine. All right. Um, Let me flip through the scenario again real quick, but yeah, I didn't any see. Of, any it's of it's have typical, any... typical C Craig, not to, not to hardwire that historical stuff into the scenario. Okay. So that's fine. Um, 
All right. Any other qu any questions amongst the immediate crowd here as to what's what here? All right. This uh, is the stress cruiser. The only um, the only slight change I did was I I demarked these cruisers as a second cruiser division, but the assumption is that they are under flag command from the battle fleet first division. That's my assumption. It's the only flags they can see. So right. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. And then destroyers. Looks like, oh, that's the Monomach. Okay, so yeah, the destroyer divisions just behind the first. The two destroyer divisions are just behind the, um, next to them behind the first uh, battle division. What is? What's the point of having them back there? I wonder. <laughs> what these, are the Russians doing? These guys yeah. right here. No, no, the destroyer, the second destroyer. This one. Fella. Um, I'm assuming yeah. to protect to just in case they were attacked from this direction, I think, maybe. Maybe. Because Japan is, like, that way, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, Japan is over here, right? And then Korea is up here. Sure, whatever. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out the battle logic for the... Yeah, the I don't know. Uh, they're, they're, at that point, they're, they were just huffing it, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> and honestly, I haven't really... I mean, I'm assuming this is an historical formation of it. I've Yo, seen it. I've, probably, I've seen yeah. it depicted. You know, I've seen it depicted several different ways, but unfortunately, the simulators that I've used for that they 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 have different start times and, and so forth. So I have no idea if this is accurate, and I'm assuming it is. All right. Um, All right. So I am going to start writing orders out. All right, and you've. <clears throat> All right. The problem here, though, is I need to give um, Aaron is going to, what, write his orders out then as well? And Tom, have you joined the server? Mm -hmm. mm, if you can write the password down, because I tried every possible permutation. The word <laughs> rocks, R O C K S. Yes, but is it without space? There is no space. It's just it's the one just word. One word. One word. Okay. Yeah. Rocks. That's it. No, no, but oh, only rocks or Tsushima. Yeah, yeah, or yeah, 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 I yeah. thought it is Tsushima rocks because this no. was your previous view. No, no. You know? no, I simplified my I simplified my <laughs> encryption. <laughs> okay. Anyone listening to the stream could hack in. Yeah. Um, that was all right. Sorry, a, a clarification. Do I need to go into Tabletop Simulator as well? You do not need to. Um, I, we'll move it for you. We'll move everything for you. That, that uh, was drop my card. Would be great so no. Thank you. On, on, honestly, it's probably just as good because then we all have the same view of what the hell I'm talking about. Um, so, uh, I mean, Walter Walter is just used to using Tabletop Simulator, and he, he understands probably what I'm yapping about. But <laughs> honestly... It's just as good to listen to me, and I move it for you. So, if you want to move my ships for me, I mean that's fine. But uh, I think that's I, you're taking on too much there. <laughs> whatever. All right. So, Tom, I just need to get. I'm going to send you a spreadsheet that'll help you do with deal with orders. Okay. Okay. Give me one moment, and I'll do that, and then we'll start hacking in pretty. So, Aaron, uh, the orders you received from Flag are as follows. <coughs> they are full speed, turn in succession by division, alter course 30 starboard. Thank you. So I'm going to look at this maze of starting speeds for the... Russians here. First, okay, all right. We're going eleven. All right, Tom. In the in Discord, I'm going to send you a uh, link to a spreadsheet. That's that's purely your copy. You can use that for whichever portion you command here, and we'll take a look at what, okay. what we have. What would you prefer? Would you prefer? Um, I don't know if you're looking at me in the stream. Yeah, I'm looking at you because my 
cloud for, for whatever reason Steam. Would you just would you just for just for a little bit of an eat? I mean, this will get you in the act. If you take this, this will get you in the action quickly. Yeah, I can take that. Um, and it's not that many. All right, yeah, so, I, I rather have. Just so you know what you got, you got you got a heavy cruiser or two cruisers, I guess is what they would call them, not necessarily heavy, and then two light cruisers. As a matter of fact, what is the what is the equivalent of a CA in pre dread terms? <clears throat> I don't I don't I don't know if that would be an armored cruiser. Yeah, an armored right. cruiser, not just a protected cruiser. Right. Correct. So these would be armored cruisers, and then these would be cruisers sure. or light cruisers, I guess. Is what we call them. So that's the one thing I think that. I've, okay, so that would be one thing about pre-dread scenarios, right? They don't. They wouldn't use necessarily the same designators from. No. World War II. <laughs> All right. So. Um, What's what's next to it is and is it also my command? It's a destroyer the, flotilla. Okay. The the assumption is that you would be a flag commander here and that yeah. You, you, so you so I only give, you I only give, give them basically the, to the flagship, right? The you, you give orders to yourself. And then yeah, the, and the assumption is that you've told the destroyer flotilla to stay, to stay in formation. If you want, if you want or need, if you need these guys to do something differently, you're going to have to flag command them. So yeah, you, you will need later probably to say what the, what this, yeah, sheet, how the sheet works. Okay, so order one, order two. This the. These are the orders for the one turn, or is it order one is for first turn? Or... Mm -mm, no. Okay. <laughs> this is for the current turn right now. We we just we're just we're always going to be looking at the current orders. These are these are going to be the current flag orders that you have up for for your divisions in this case. Um, let me take let me get rid of this third one because you don't need this one. Uh, let me just get rid of this one. I don't know if I will join you on tabletop because my shoot for some reason Steam has problems syncing. That's fine. All right. You see what I just did? I just um get rid of that row for you. All right. So like so this is your this would be your your main division, right? Your cruisers. Your cruiser division right so this mm -hmm. this is how many orders you can do you can do up to 12 okay okay um this would be this would be a and then like your destroyer your destroyer division if he's ordering himself around but he's not yet all right yeah so let's, okay so okay let's just get i can get rid of this if you want or I yeah i get rid of it because I, I don't think they will play any part probably today in anything. All right. And, and honestly, you have enough orders here to order to the... You you have enough orders to, yeah. to do it. Okay. So, so if you if you just if you just look at the pull-down... Yeah, I'm at, looking at, at it. It's yeah, pretty so straightforward. Basically, the, the list that is in the column B. Y yes, exactly. And then... And that's it. So you just, if you, okay. um, you know, go for it. Why don't you just go for it real quick, and I'll tell you if it looks valid. <laughs> sure. Okay. If you alter course, how, where do you inform how, by how much, in order the to? Next, the next column. Oh, the next column. Or okay. Oh, need, and oh, in, in the spreadsheet. That's right. Yeah. 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 And and it is against. So so basically, if I let's say. For a moment, I want to alter course by 20 degrees. I do then you alter, would say, course. alter course, and then you would say, here, I'll do it for you. You do two, okay. and then you do a zero. Oh, you OK. Need, so you need to say and, port or starboard. So you yeah, that was, that was my question. Like that. You see each, that? Each, yeah, I see that. So each of these points is against one order column. OK, fine. Yeah, every single one is a flag. Every every order. Ah, okay. Okay, fine. 
and that's and that's why there's a limited number of it because over time what happens is you lose you lose your command capability over time from yep, damage sure. and and potentially from if your um commander perishes then you have to take a a, a junior commander has to step up and then you get right. up with, with less that's, orders that you can do. all right that's cool <laughs> Okay, so oh, right, yeah, so I'm making my orders for the rest of everybody too as well right now. Right now, just to um, keep everybody sane and move things along here, I'm doing a continue as before with <laughs> with everybody. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> at least up here. Up, up here, we're just continuing as before. What? What's our starting speed? All right, hold on, Kasagi. I think it varies by formation. My formation, for instance, starts at uh, nine knots. Yeah, Mikasa starts at 13. Japanese second squadron is at 13. And your first squadron, third division, is at 14. And your fifth and first destroyer divisions are 13, because why not? So you all yours are at fourteen down here, right? You're at fourteen knots right now, and I think I would just <clears throat> wrote it for I will write it for the lead ship only. Uh... All right. So before we get too deep into this, let's, ah, let's take a okay. look at uh, ranges as well. We're currently at fifteen uh, k for Makasa to. Uh, is this? Suvorov. Okay. Suvorov, yeah. So let's take, I'm going to go take a look at Mikasa real quick on my own drive here. I have the sh I have my ships in front of me. I'm going, well, I'm not shooting yet. <laughs> well, right. I just, I, 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 I've got so many rules in my head right now. Yeah, yeah so yeah. these guys, you know, we're at long distance. We're at, we're at long distance right now. Oh, the Nikolai depresses me so much. What were they? Thinking? What is your range? If you don't mind me asking. <laughs> 14, fourteen five. All right. Well, mine is sixteen. So guess what? Oh, even better. Love these ships. Great, great ships, there, Russians. Thanks a lot. Can uh, you super off? Yes. If you need what? to. Uh, quick question to you, Peter. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, sure. Yeah, before you start flipping ships. Yeah. If you see any that are backwards, go ahead and do it. Yep. Yeah, basically all, all, all of them with backwards. All. And I wanted to ask you if they loaded that way or whatever, because... No, it's just probably the way they were coming. Oh, wait a minute. Sweet. Uh, the Ostyaba, which is the leader of the second division, 18,500. Very good. Let's so we sure we have one good. set of, of decent long-range guns. Oh, no, and the Admiral Apraxen. I'm just so fixing you your ships. ships uh, Walter, Walter, I'm just fixing your ships. That's, Perfect. That's, there's a few that are. Never mind the size of these guns. Yeah, I, I will need better. all the data probably forwarded to me later. Oh, I can do that. Never. I can get it. What I can get it going here in a moment. Um, just give me a minute. I'm gonna, I'll give you a, a, fold, a folder of your ships. This is the this is the downfall of copying and pasting into tabletop simulator. All right, <laughs> all right. I think all the Russian ships are pointed properly now. You want to vet that if you're in there. Well, oh, let's do some. All right, up. final just zoom in. And just in case we later question it. All right, all right. So we're good there. Are all the Japanese in the right? I'll be honest, I'm not looking at the destroyers very closely, but everybody else looks good. That's fine. I, I looked at your destroyers. You're fine. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I got one cruise to look at. No, he's good. You know, oddly enough, we have the same problem on a real tabletop sometimes. <laughs> yes, yes. 
They're like, hey, your your tanks are pointing the wrong way. That's a constant <laughs> thing. I think that we are good now. Um, I don't know if you want to go through there just to be sure, but I think we're good now. <clears throat> okay, so the other tool I have in here, oh wait, I didn't add it yet. Let me see if I can try to add it now. I had a problem adding it before. I'm going to add in the uh, ruler I created for Admiral of the Fleet. That will be a big help. Uh, let's tile it in. Let's get it here. Admiral of the Fleet ruler. When your main armament could be mounted on a tank. Let's do it on both sides. Let's pray that this up uploads. Oh, it did this time. I had a problem before trying to do this. <clears throat> All right. So the thing I'm enlarging here in the middle here, this scale ruler is is um, specific to Admiral the Fleet. And uh, these this would be your knots, and then this is the number of grids. And I've I've allowed the C background to contain the tabletop simulator grids just for the sake of visualizing what we're talking about here. So if you're going 14 knots, you would actually go 3.64 grids in tabletop simulator um, parlance. Um, so these are grids. Sure, these grids, are grids. Not inches. Okay, yeah. I, I always use grids just so we can scale things well. Um, okay. These are actually, these would be in, in, I'm sitting at a convention terms, these would be inches. Okay. So each inch is 500 yards in this 118,000 scale. That's the default table size. Uh, I didn't worry too much about scale of these ships because we're going to be basically denoting things from center points no matter what. Right. Okay. Cool. All right. Well. All right. I think we're ready to move things, right? Okay. Um, <clears throat> Am I missing anything from a, from a uh, sequence perspective just to keep things Admiral of the Fleety here? Let's go back and just verify that I'm not jumping the gun. Is there a sequence? Is there a sequence list in the back here? It's kind of simultaneous move and everything. There's just that we should roll the percentiles for that tiny chance of. Uh, uh, is that always, or is that only with wireless though? Um, I th let me look at B1. Let me make sure I understand B1. Let's see. I am going to look that up myself. Just gets it first it just says uh rolled at the end of command phase prior to revealing signals all right so we are in That's the three percent chance so I'm, yeah. I'm gonna just review the command phase i'm looking at the pdf i'm not showing it on the camera because hopefully please please confirm Red that so you are correct <laughs> okay just for copyright protection here i didn't want to show anything um, but the command sequence, of course, we're going to be talking about this left and right, but uh, the ca the admirals select cards from their signal deck to represent flag signals. We've kind of already done that. We've kind of sped it up a little bit. And then, yes, you are correct. We perform rolls for potential delay or loss of signals, which is chart B1. So let's take a quick look at B1. It's daytime. It's 3% chance. So. All right. So so go ahead and roll that for yourselves there are yeah, just, dice just, yeah yeah i i grabbed the we, red green dice are we gonna say the red, red dice high. is the tens red's the tens yeah all right so i'm gonna roll for the uh Japanese. do you don't need to if your only roll if your only order is continue as before i rolled 100. <laughs> you're fine <laughs> you got that out of your system um, you still need to make sure that your signal was seen appropriately. Yeah, there's just a okay, but just arguing it. Oh, close, Almost. but yeah, my, mine was continuous before. But if even if they didn't receive it, they probably would continue. 
I that's, that's a cool. that's a perfectly that's a perfectly acceptable <laughs> assumption. All right, now we start moving. Um, I you... actually moved my guys, yeah, because someone started moving theirs. So is that someone? Yeah. Walt? Okay. And yeah, so I already what, moved mine. What were the orders for the second division and third division and so forth back here? I can move uh, them they, for right full speed they, ahead, starboard thirty. And but they yeah, are so going... the, the, the speed increases to ten. Uh, I turn. think if you're going at nine knots, that your engines will give you two knots of acceleration. So uh, go to eleven. That's... You want me to double check that, or you can double check that before I move you. All right, so these guys are going 13 knots. Yes, everything I've checked can do two knots of acceleration up through 10 knots. Let me check what the max speed is on some of these. I think the, um, maybe I'm not reading this right, the Makarov, if it's nine, it's one, which is why I went for one. Okay, let me find the Makarov. We could have one that's that much slower. Nakamov? Aurora? Suvorov? Alexander? Rodina? Well, maybe I've got the... Uh, I've got, yeah, it's, it's the last ship in my uh, squadron. Ushakov. Ushakov. From zero to ten knots can accelerate by two. So yeah, you can go up by two. Yeah, sorry. Um, am I am I commanding all eight or just the first four? Uh, right now, you're all the ships on the in the left hand formation. Okay, gotcha. I need to get some more ship. <laughs> She's out. Um, but I think the um, number f the the fourth one in the first group. Uh, Nakamov. Let me have a look yeah, at Nakamov. Increase by uh, one, I believe. All right, I will find the Nakamov. Give me a second. That would be a slow boat. Why can't I find the Nakamov? Monomak? It, Nakamov. You are animal. right. You're right. The Nakamov uh, it can only do by one. I'm sure there's a British play that has. <laughs> he was caught whacking off. Okay, I don't know. All right. Hmm. Let's see. That, that's a. That was what was the, what were the famous playwrights? I can't remember. Darn. It. I guess I can just run those engines until they melt. All right. So how? I'm sorry. How how fast are you going here with the slop? Yeah. Ten. But the whole. Right, and it's line ahead, thirty starboard. So you can start the turn. And do we have to split that in two? Yeah. Yeah. That would be half fifteen, half fifteen. All right, so you're going 1.3, right. 15. You turn first, correct? Um, oh, let me look at ATF. The way I have always done it, and I could be just doing it wrong in Seacrieg, is half, half the turn, yeah. half, half the turn. Yeah, you're right. 1.3. Yeah, that's uh, you look at page 16 of the rules. So. I have uh, order cards littered all over my desk. We're turning in succession? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, land ahead. Marsk. Mm. 
and just to verify again, everybody's going. Everyone is going ten knots currently, and they're not. That is correct. Okay. If I start micromanaging their speeds, I'm going to get yep. into a horrible mess. That's well, you wouldn't anyway. You would. They would. They would match the vehicle in front of them, and they I would think know that we were closer. I'm going to fix this just a little. And bit. they would know how much of a pig the Nakamov is. That's a really depressing okay. ship. <laughs> everybody, uh, everybody, vet this movement. Yeah, but it's got really good guns. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, yes, the movement looks correct. Nakamov. That is. Well, until you look at how big they are. All right, so then let's uh, let's start talking. Let's start talking arcs. Say that ten times fast. Um, let's talk, talk it dark. Okay. Um, all right. So, so most of these guys probably only have uh, potentially the front um, the front marker in their sheet. Maybe here you have a little bit more, but I don't think you're gonna fire on them. I'm thinking my lead vessel and this guy vessel would just be yeah, just the the forward three blocks of a chance of shooting. Also, the range is pretty extreme still. So okay, now the, gonna, the Japanese do... fourth destroyer division's moved already, right? Everybody's moved. Yep. Yes. Okay. okay, I will make a measurement to that. <clears throat> see. Okay, so let's do this methodically here instead of. Chaotically. Um, oh, that is close enough to shoot, actually. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, 8, you got to half yards. that. Yeah. You got to half that. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's the thing about this that, that you got to watch out here because, you know, this is double time, basically, of secret. Um, okay. So Suvorov is going to fire. Turn one. And the lead vessel in that squadron is the. I don't have a tooltip for it. Let's see. Which one? Uh, you mean Kasagi? Kasagi, okay. Do you want to do your firing first from Suvorov? Yeah, I can long roll it. Uh, 8K. Well, no, talk through it. Okay, for the sake okay. Of, just so that we can kind of get in cadence here. All right. Uh, so looking at the arcs, this is broadside. It's at 8,000 yards. So with my primaries, it is medium range. Your speed is 10 to 18 knots. So my FCS number is six. I'm gonna pull up in the charts here, which I hadn't before. And Tom, let me get you a uh, folder of. <coughs> sure. Okay, folks. There. All right. It's gonna take me just a small bit to get that going here. One moment. I know this process is different. I'm forgetting something here. Let's see. Oh, Tom, gunfire you... versus flotilla. That's good to know. Let's see. Um, Tom, can you call out the ships of yours one at a time? Front to back. Um, what do you got? What do you mean? Oh, uh, Kasagi. Okay, hold on. Kas Kasuga, you mean? Oh, Kasagi. Ka no, Kasagi. All right, Kasagi. Let's see. C A Kasagi C A. Okay, next one. Mm -hmm. Chitose C C H I. Mm -hmm. Yep, I got it. All right. What else you got? Uh, Nitaka and Ottawa. Okay. And Ottawa. All right, and then I'm gonna put in. Right. You don't have to worry about your destroyer full too long. Yeah, I see they are. Yeah, sure. Okay. I only have one ship firing on this target, so the only modifier is I'm half rate of fire. I'm firing two guns. My rate of fire at this range is two. So normally I would have four rounds. This time I have two. So um, that means I am two rounds on the FCS column six. That is a 5% chance of a hit. Let me see about rolling the dice. Hey, Tom, I sent you those. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm open. open. Hey, look, I missed. Now, I have two forward turrets on the secondaries. They're also at medium range. And their FCS number at this range is 3. Uh, their rate of fire at this range is 5. Normally, it'd be 10 rounds, so we're down to 5. So, again, I long roll because 
the chance of hitting on the three chart with five rounds is also five percent three five five three there we go all right so uh that is that is the uh the fire from the uh, super off you're shooting back yeah let's let go ahead and let him all right yep. so kasagi firing well, although i i did not order it but yeah well hold on well, you're at battle station, so you can fire. Yeah, that's not and, you okay. Hard down, yeah. You will get okay, yeah, fine. It's okay. We'll and looking everybody. at it, can she toss uh, also fire? I believe so. Yeah, just note how many ships you're firing uh, before you start because it will affect your chance to hit. Yeah, I know the the over concentration. What? It's not quite uh, as bad as some other rule sets, by the way. So, which I actually. Agree. Yeah, I would fire with everyone. I just need to see if the trailing one can actually cover it so arcs of fire from what i see chitose probably sorry kasagi probably can fire with everything from what i see uh wait they do they ch Who sorry i'm checking, checking. I, i'm checking what what guns do i have on them you have basically fr 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 here i'll look at it with you which we're going from kasagi okay one uh, one at a time cheetos i can fire with do i even need to check the secondary batteries right now probably not that's right. up to you yeah i fired my no. secondaries but yeah you can but i i don't think fire. the chance of chance of hit is worth okay, it so so here's just something that i thought i don't know if we did it right last time walter was that I don't think your own your own guns do not count as an over concentration in right. this. Right. In this rule set, as opposed to Sea Krieg, no. it doesn't matter how many batteries you're firing from one ship. It's how many ships are firing. Right. Yeah. Okay. One to two at the same targets, no penalty. Three to four is minus two. Right. Five or more negative four. So okay. So I would fire with. If, you, if you're going to fire four. with everybody, and you probably might as well. I mean, I, I don't know. This yeah, I will where, fire with we'll everyone. Learn it. So. This is where we'll learn it. <laughs> okay, you know what? I, I will fire with everyone and go one at a time. So she does a mm -hmm. I see can fire. Just go ahead with... and roll it. Just go ahead and roll it and we'll, we'll, we'll if anything seems like it's close yeah. enough, we'll look it up. What'd you get? No. Okay, just go for the next one, primaries, right? Your primaries? Right. right. You is red high? Yeah, the red is the ten digit. Okay. Red is ten. You got a twenty so, on that one, so let's look that up. Okay, and you are firing four ships, so that is going to take your FCS down. Down two. Down two. So, yeah, it's going to be, opening salvo is going to be low, low numbers with the primaries. But yeah, yeah run the numbers. I, see I have, ju just know how it works. Uh, from what I see, I have on Chitose two, two barrels, basically, two main guns. Yes, correct. With one barrel. Both of them, I think, are in arc. Right. And the range is how do we calculate this range? We you what what the ruler grids. gave us we divide by half. Yes, correct. And that's your and killing you Divide by two. Uh so <laughs> we are eight, uh, le eight less points. than eight, right? Mm, more than eight. A little bit more than eight. Right. Or, right, a little bit yeah. more than eight. Uh your speed is what what's what of speed uh, i am I going 12 bad. knots okay so it's 10 to 18. Mm. you are firing a uh, narrow aspect on me you don't mind marking your just the basic of the speed on the model too just so we have some order could you do that I, I don't know how to do that so you just right click on it and put it into the description portion not the title portion of the okay model you see that you see what i'm talking about uh, I see it. Oh, and you, yep. you put it. All right, I got you. I did it. Thank you. And then everybody over here is going 10, right? But everybody here is going 12, is that right? Uh, 14. Correct. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, if you ask mine. Yeah, um, okay, yeah. so I am 10 to 18, narrow, and I am at... My range is 14,500. Or... Well, divide that in two, so it's actually 8,000. You uh, by yeah, no, I, I, I'm talking about the range that is given for the gun. As yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. the, the, red, right. the red range on the gun is the maximum range or optimal range? Or... Right, so if you look at the penetration table, 
you're yes. going to be at uh, okay. the whatever's after 8,000, which uh, depending on the gun is going to be probably 12,000. So 12,000 will show you whether it's medium or long range. And that'll t l tell you which FCS I have, number. I have actually, pe on penetration table, I have shorties 2, 2,500 and 6,000 and medium is 10,000. So then you're at medium range. So you're gonna look at the lower number under. Okay, medium. so medium, medium narrow for uh, speed ten to eighteen. I have a FCS of three. From what if if I okay, so you're starting at three, column. and then the yeah. over concentration takes you down to one to one, mm -hmm. and then you look at your rate of fire, cut it in two, and that's how many rounds you fire. Uh, and then we go two. to G1. So why was it rate chart, of, may I ask one question? Why was it rate of fire divided by two? Uh, because it's your opening uh, round of fire on a target. Oh. That okay. is in uh, that is in chart C one. Okay, very good to know. Thank you. Yeah, C one and yep. C two tell you your your modifiers. So on... my rate of fire normal rate of fire is four, so it's two. All right. So you have how many how many barrels? Two. Okay. <laughs> so you fired two rounds. <laughs> two rounds on the FCS one chart, you had a one percent chance of hit. Yay, all that just to find that. I'm just <laughs> Third chip, let's go. Third chip. Yeah, that's that's it all. Basically if I roll anything about anything ten, 10. is, yeah, yeah. is yeah. not worth mentioning. Right, this is in it. the Ooh. in the ancient <laughs> traditions of Sea Creek, these are lawn rolls. So. Oh, okay, so I missed with everything. But you fired now to get the range. Next turn, your rate of fire goes up, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, the Russians are a self-crossing T, so good to go. All right. Um, now we can write for two. And I'm assuming, did, OK, are your cruisers firing at all? Shem what Shem is the range? Um, the range from this cruiser here is. Yeah, this is about eight thousand, but from here, uh, it would be ten ten k ish. Oh yeah, you so, you could fire the Oblabia. That would be you could definitely fire that one. If let's see, is he blocked by? I mean, is he really blocked? I mean, these ships are nowhere to scale, you know. Right. It's if just, you measure, I think you're good. If you measure second I, in line, I would think he is. He's good. Oh, by the way, make sure that you're marked to center auto. Yeah. Where do we do uh, that? Okay, on you click on you click on the ruler. You make sure it's set to grid, two D, auto center no log. In tabletop simulator. Ah, got it, got it. Cool. And then there automatically go. Goes to center. There you Perfect. go. Perfect. Now, now you go. <clears throat> All right. So I I agree that both of his. I agree, and honestly, actually, the entire the entire left hand battle line. The, the second squadron could all fire. I think I you mean the second division here? Yeah, second division. Those four ships, they could all I fire they on all fire on the Kasagi. And then they're not going to hit cuz the over concentration. But um, Do you want to just do well, I don't want to Can I I'm Sorry. Do they Go. all have to attack the lead ship? Can they, no, they uh don't. They do not. However, you do need to be aware that uh it will be hard to see other ships in the line. So Actually, he could. No, he could, he could see, see all. He could see all four of those ships. Okay. He could fire we'll, it opposite. We'll give you a first person perspective. So <laughs> we'll, like, I'll just pair off first against first, etc. How about first two against the first, second, second pair of two against the second, right? That that works too. Right. That'll, and then that'll just remember that. Little... Yeah, the oh. lead ship then has three ships firing on it, so that will be uh, that will be uh, an over concentration. Oh uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. You may as well roll it, and if any well. of these four ships get below ten percent, then we'll run the numbers. Um, uh, if you have your own dice, I can give you the honor system if you want, or I can roll for you. Um, we, we, well, we why don't you roll for me? I have my own dice, but uh, why yeah, don't we keep it? Yeah, open? let's keep it. Let's keep it in the open. All right. So you got a thirty-eight on that. So that's right, no. no. Try again. So <laughs> second ship in line, primary. Nope. Third in line primary. Ooh, might have. You got an what 11 on that. You got an 11. 11. Well, yeah, let's two. see. That it's is the Navarran 
the I Navarin on the Chitosi. Now I will look up uh, the Navarin guns. Um, the it, range. It will, let's do this. It will, let's go. it will be medium. I think it's all in medium. I believe. I believe you are correct. Uh, that is twenty-five divided by two. Somebody four guns rate of fire two, so it's four rounds. Your FCS Hobbit, would Hobbit be six. Twelve thousand three hundred. Twelve thirty. Right. Twelve it's, five. Oh, see, it was twenty-five. Oh, it's not going to hit. Uh, four rounds, three FCS. No, you're you're below five percent chance of hitting. So. Do you uh, do you have it again because it's first shot, so it's not four rounds, but it's two rounds? Yeah, I did. I was looking at two rounds. That's yeah, right. Okay. So, yeah. All right. Thank you, Miss. All right. Oh, wait a minute. It was it was four rounds because it is four uh, four barrels. Your your front and back. Uh, you, I agree. Turrets. I agree on that. Yeah, front yeah, and back turrets are, are in arc. So. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I, yeah, I agree on that. That's good. That's a good call. And I just roll for the last one. Okay. Opening so salvos you, you, are. Did you miss on that one? You missed, missed on that one? Yeah. Right. yeah. Yes, yes. Here's for the fourth ship. 28. No. Nope. The over concentration right. actually ensured that, that it wasn't going to be hit. But, you know, when you're on the f only four rounds, mm -hmm. to get a hit with four rounds, you need an FCS of uh, six, and we're over concentrated, so it's not going to happen. It when we get closer, for... it will matter. Yeah. So once we're that's... under, once we're under four thousand yards, we'll start hitting left and right. All right. So, so that's everybody fired here. Yep. Did your cruisers fire here? I will fire the Jimchug. Okay. And he is going to fire at the lead destroyer. We forgot target size, by the way. It didn't matter this time. We do have to. It's one point uh, modifier. <coughs> on on so that is door. yeah. Jimchug, give Where? me a second to track that ship. Down. I'm firing at a flotilla. I don't know how to fire at a flotilla yet. <laughs> All right, let's slow down. Slow the roll. Yeah. We've got plenty of time here. Yeah. Um, let's see. Gunfire. Damage to flotilla ships. Uh, All right. Uh, sorry to interrupt you. Where is the ship size listed on the card? The target size is listed in the right hand column just below the header. So if you look between your FCS and your protection value, you'll see target size, crew, and sea state. Most of your ships are ones. Yeah, I'm looking at it. I only have displacement, complement, length, draft. Damn, I don't see it. Between gunnery and... Then... Oh, sorry, at... yeah, I, I, have it. I have a target size. Okay, yeah. All right. I'm going... Page... 23 flotillas. All right. Flotilla vessels. Destroys torpedo boats from early period or counter for all of the division. Firing on flotillas. Target What's size and speed to calculate the gunnery solution. Okay. So I start off with just a regular roll to see if I hit. This is my primaries. I have three single gun turrets in arc i roll and i miss okay i've shot at your flotilla exciting and then the damage is just the only, the only damage is a separate system yeah right so. but the only separate the only separate rulings let's just talk about it for just a moment the only separate rulings for that is to utilize f1 for the damage correct instead right. of the normal right. damage is there anything else that needs to be taken into account other than maybe the ship size Ship size, right, and over concentration would matter. So, okay. And you can only fire on them with secondaries, correct? I don't see why. Okay. Well, all right. I mean, you could fire a, because the a main gun at a large caliber destroyer. would just yeah. It's not like uh, it's not like we're playing uh, Starfleet battles, you know. All right. All ships except for flotilla ships may fire on a flotilla in the same manner used for other ships using target size and speed. For flotilla, protection is zero. You do not check penetration or hit location. Any successful rolls for hits go on chart F1. And when you determine which ships of flotilla are affected, you use a table you roll to see which ship. Okay. And if flotillas are fighting... Right. 
they can't use torpedoes on each other. So they have right. a gunfire rating they, and they just shoot uh, at each other. Yeah. So if they do any firing, and can a flotilla fire on like up to a cruiser size? I mean, can they fire on anybody else? They do not have gun charts. Uh, so they just so, fire on each other yeah. or they use their torpedoes. Correct? Right. right. All right. Thank you. Because I got. And this being. Right. Here. And this being. Uh, 1904, your torpedoes are extremely short range weapons. You pretty much just need to get them within, I would say, with, well, what is that? Is it 500 yards for the extra benefit? I am looking it up. Uh, looks like 650 yards at 30 knots or 980 yards at 25 knots. So now you know for the Russians. I'm not going to remember, don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> I do right. have longer range torpedoes on some of my cruisers. Uh, you don't that's have to tell cool. me. I mean, longer that's... range. <laughs> wow, 2,000 yards. These are big boys. All right, so that's okay. Hold on. So that's all firing from here. Any firing from your second cruiser? I'm, I'm done firing. And your flotilla is not firing on flotilla? No, uh, no point. All right, so I'm going to do. My firing from from the first squadron, first division. What are we going to rule that Mikasa is the only one that has arc? Basically, I was going to say Mikasa certainly is the only one that can fire at Suvorov. Right. Uh, it's you could measure. I think I think the, the at least the first two ships could take a shot at. Oh, I'm going to give up saying this word. Oh, Suliabia. All right. Let's take a look from perspective here. Okay, so we're gonna say the. F well, why would none? Why would none of these be able to fire? I mean, they, any of these in range should be able to fire on that lead ship, right? At least with the forward arcs. Would think so. Yeah. Now, it, I will say Mikasa blocks to Suvorov, but not to Olyabia. So. Oh, absolutely. Oh, I totally agree on that. Totally agree on that. All right, so let's just check ranges, right? So let's see, Mikasa. Hold on, let me go look at my shit. Chart, Mikasa. All right, so his long is 16. Who else we got up here? We got Shikashima. And what's his maximum? Yeah, they're all 16. Okay, so they can go up to 32 inches. So let's take a grid, whatever we want to call it. So this guy's in range, this guy's in range, this guy's in range, this guy's in range. I think that's about it. Looks like the first five ships are in range. Anybody disagree? One, two, three, four, five. Up through long. These are all going to be long shots, literally. Okay. One, two, three. Four, You're over concentrated long shots. You should just roll and see if you get anything below 5%. We'll see if right. we hit. Correct. All right. Hold on a second. All right. First ship, Mikasa firing gets a nope. Mm -hmm. Second gets a nope. Third gets a nope. Mm -hmm. Fourth gets a uh... roll for that 01. Nope. Oh, well. Nope. Nope so this, across the board. I'm standing on my bridge on the uh, Suvrov going, well, these With... Japanese must have a lot of ammunition. <laughs> Speaking of, is there any limitation? You in Sea Creek can track ammunition. I don't, it doesn't look like they give you um, any kind of numbers here. So. In okay. secret, you actually they actually give you like you can like write down the loadouts and everything. So, all right, just trying to give everybody a little bit of perspective shots. Here. And uh, sometimes it makes sense to do it because I mean, historically, Graf Spe ran out of HE in the rear yeah. but <laughs> during the tail chase. <sighs> this this is actually something that I wanted to discuss someday with 
Admiralty Trilogy guys because they say they don't like ammunition because that's that is like for me because they say we don't track because there were no really were there any situations in which ships ran out of ammo during battle? Uh so well there's the Grash Bay. That's well known. There's situations where they have the wrong loadouts, like uh, Cruiser Battle Guadalcanal. They have all the HE sitting on the incendiaries sitting on the deck when the fighting starts. I think if you have a battle that lasts more than a day, yeah, you really yeah, yeah, you know, because this is this is interesting because that's why in Command that C the ammo isn't tracked uh, because it, they, they even wrote that yeah the. You won't run out of ammo before the battle ended. But when I checked the amount for large ships like Bismarck or uh, Iowa or anything that is heavy battleship, when you check uh, the amount of ammo against even the um, practical rate of fire, mm -hmm. you get maybe five turns of fire. Like 15 minutes of fire. So well, that's that... if you're just blasting away for 15 minutes, which historically yeah, exactly. the closest you get to that is is yeah. land bombardment, and then they've got they've got tenders with them for land bombardment because they're never in in a they're very rare. Yeah. Uh, Guadalcanal is like almost the only example <clears throat> of continuous naval combat during um, surface bombardment. That that's that that's exactly true. But in war game, we have we, without these restrictions, we don't have any incentive not to blast away exactly. constantly <laughs> right? exactly but if you look at if you look at uh like sea krieg when you look at the ship records they've got the number of rounds per gun and you could actually you can keep a tally and see if your 12 turn long gun duel how much of your total ammunition you've used and i've i've kept like in some battles i've been interested as they've been long running a lot of long range fire and to my knowledge, I've never been where there should have been no ammo left. I'm like, I can see like historic, like realistically, be like, oh man, we're out of AP or something like that. But I've never, I've never run the guns out. That, that's I've never blown up some barrels, you know, with the real, okay. <laughs> the real world ships for the amount of fire. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> this is something that uh, people have uh, thought and argued about a lot with the, in my, like my playtest group for micro armor, uh, because. Um, uh, we know, for example, like an MT-12, any tank gun, has exactly four gun missiles, you know, AT-11 gun missiles. Yeah. And we don't track ammunition. My system basically is, in, you know, it's sort of in the, the squad oh. tradition that you want to use it. You don't know whether a gun has it or not. You roll to see if it's available. Right. And uh, uh, so that you're not micromanaging from your God's eye view which any tank gun position has a gun missile available at a particular moment. That's been my philosophy. Yeah. I think I can remember what's the name of the General Quarters version, World War One version of the game, because General Quarters is World War Two, right? Miniatures. And there was a version of World War One, and I think they actually, and this, this is why I think I got interested in the rate of fire and ammo loadouts. Because they actually give you only three or four main uh, main gun salvos or three turns. Interesting. You are limited to three turns of I main have, gun salvos in this game. I've calculated my orders for this turn. Just sorry to interrupt, but okay. <laughs> uh, to my fellow uh, admiral, I have uh, put up Hold one on. flag. Before you say anything, Tom, okay. go ahead and put in your orders before you before Walter. Oh. Said. Sure. Just sort of, if you if you'd rather just write them down, that's fine too. But at no, least no, you, I'm, at yeah, least you... yeah. <clears throat> anyway, uh, the flag I've put up uh, is continue as before, which means continue the the turn and the acceleration. Yeah, I, I would like to turn uh, ten 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 degrees port one compass. Well, port fifteen. Starboard. Let's let's say fifteen, right? Started. 50, 15 starboard. So okay. I start with turn to get no net turn no, together. Hold on. Let's, let's talk about your speed. All right, your speed fourteen. Do you want to remain at fourteen, or had you had you flagged a change of speed? Uh, no, I want to remain at fourteen. I just want to turn fifteen starboard. All right, that's fine. So right. I'm rolling okay. for my flags to fail. Okay, let me. Okay. And then let me do this for the Japanese. Do you do this for you do it for every each flag 
commanders, right? So that would be for me. Definitely didn't fail. I, Tom, I think you're right. Call. I think it would be any, any flag issuing orders, which would be yeah, so, would be okay, Sir so Robin Tom's, Tom, Tom, Tom's is fine as well. Uh, I will roll for <coughs> Aaron, and we're good. Okay. Is that always just a three percent chance? Uh, it gets worse if it's at night. And it gets weather. worse if you have taken um, damage. Uh, damage. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. All right. So just be right back. Getting coffee. All right. Now. Um, all right. So I had increased to. I had said. I had flagged full speed. So we can only increase one. So we're gonna go to fourteen knots. Okay. So we can move. Move now. And I had yes, and I had said to alter course to south for this line. So you have to move. You what you do is you move half. You move half, turn, half. Move half, half, turn half, half. Right. Move half, turn half. Right. Do you understand? Okay. And I bet. Yeah. We understand. I will. I I hope I can perform it with TTS. Right. Do you want to? Okay. Hold on. Before you start moving anything. Yeah. 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 So fourteen knots. Here, it's three here, point. Here is a. Here's a marker for where your lead Starting. cruiser starts. <laughs> now move everything, or if you want to get it out of the way, you can a little bit. But... No, no, it's okay. I I just thought maybe I will actually add another marker and then move to the, you know, last location. But whatever. Okay, we're gonna move. How do you? Okay, right. Uh, tell me one thing. It's. So at 14 knots, I have 3.64 grid. Mm -hmm. Correct. Correct. And make sure your ruler is on grid before you start moving. Oh, oh, oh let me. Yeah, units are grid. So 3.64, it will be one five. It will be 175. 182. Right? 1.82. So just do 1.8. Okay. I'm doing I'm doing a very similar move, so here it landed on, on this guy. So now it's uh, <coughs> half of fifteen, right? So uh Because I didn't thought about this before move. Uh, I, if I just rotate them 15 and just move forward, it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be a problem, right? I hope. You're fine. Yeah. It, it, I mean, just, just try not to over. There you go. That's good. You're, you're good there. Yeah, and I need to. It's a little too close there. You got to pull him back a little bit. Actually, actually he probably. Yeah. Something like that, right? There I'll start. Moving the the left hand squadron. You're good here. Yes, please do. Thank you. Did you already move this second destroyer division? I did. Yeah. Right. Which why they started there? I think you questioned the beginning. <laughs> I think the Russians are huffing glue. <laughs> I need another cup of coffee. My my, my ships uh, they speed up to eleven knots, uh, and again thirty degrees <coughs> and in this succession. Thank you. All right. Mark it on there as well. I'm just marking on the lead ship. How fast is Suvarov going now? Uh, it is at 13. Just so we have a front marker at least. So. Yeah. All right. And then how fast are you going with Kasagi? You're still going 14, right, Tom? Yes. And they move the same speed. Uh -huh. They all move 14 still. And I hope I 
I won't ram Mikasa, but I probably. Uh, I'm gonna come <laughs> screen me. <clears throat> sure. <laughs> that means take the shot, and I don't mean you. <laughs> Be my Christian. I don't know. Whatever. I'm just... Wait. I, I I can I can you know spread the smoke screen between us be, be, between the russians and you <laughs> to, to you know attack by all means by all means attack yeah, columns in pre is, is is a good formation <laughs> yeah you can kind of guess what i'm doing I imagine the Russian intent was to sail on either side of your uh, column, like the Japanese would let you do that. <laughs> it's a good theory. Yeah, you, you go with that, uh, Russians. I'm going to send you a signal next turn, Tom, in private. Okay. Which I will utilize the appropriate amount of lives for. <laughs> if I roll that I manage to see it. I think the visibility, that's a good question. Uh, what is the visibility range? I think it's 10K. Uh, let's oh, check. right, because I, I need to go be in that. range for it, right? Correct. Alexander. Yeah, but you know, we are at 4K range right now. Right. So for game purposes, for game purposes and regardless of formation flag signals are received immediately and capable. But where is the range? For some reason, I have in my head that it's 10K, but where does this actually say that? Yeah, exactly. Where does it say it? Let's see. It's in Yav. I remember reading it, but Ushakov, Navarin, Suvorov. There, I found one of them. Where are my ships? All right. I need the Borodino and the Orel. So I drown in ship records. Orel. All right, there's three of them. There's, there's all four. Okay. Where the heck is flag distance visibility? All right, so what we need to do when we fire is first figure, you'll declare all the fires from everybody so we know the over concentration, and then we'll do the, then we'll do the two rolls. But our rate of fire is doubled for the ships that fired. Mm -hmm. Let's just go one formation at a time then. Let's just. Well, no, we got to figure all the over concentration though. All right. I will fire. <laughs> All of my will concentrate fire on Suvorov, so... All right, okay. so I will concentrate on this lob, yeah. Okay, so uh, return fire. Aaron, are you going to switch to the uh, the port Japanese squadron, or are you going to continue fire as before? I'll, I'll continue firing as before. Okay, so we have... Uh, we do have five ships firing on the um, Kasagi. So okay. Okay. maybe I'll have flag orders about that next turn, but not in the meantime. So, okay. So that means the Japanese, the Russian chances of hitting are very low still. Um, and do you want to just roll through it? Yeah, here? sure, sure. Let me do figure <clears throat> out. Super you don't, steal, don't steal yourself short either. Yeah, right. Yeah, so the, <clears throat> I, will have, I will have fire from uh, uh, Yemchuk as well. Uh, let me do the Suvorov firing at the Kasagi. 
uh, 6,500 yards. That's still medium. So that's the sixth chart, but we have five ships firing. That blows away the chances. That takes us down uh, by four. Uh, and the rate of fire from both of my turrets. See, progress. I'm actually firing my rear turrets. Um, uh, means that this is four rounds. Oh, I saw zero for a second. Now my secondaries. This is uh, six guns at a rate of fire of five. 30 rounds. Might actually get something. Uh, but I am going to be on the zero chart. Let me, give me a second. I will get the number on that. So that's 3% chance three times. One. <gasps> oh. Two. Three. Okay. Scared you. Got a splash close to you. All right. <laughs> so that is the Subrov. Now the Yemchug. Where is the Yemchug? Uh, come on, come on. Where'd it go? I had it a moment ago. Uh, damn it. All right. Here. Okay. Yemchug is firing at, I think it was a little over six. Th oh, God. Um, he was. Yeah. Here. Just over 6,000 yards. So it's still long range. So uh, this is four turrets. Rate of fire, four guns. Rate of fire is uh, three. So 12 rounds, and that's on the three chart. So let's go. Nope. And the last two rounds, also nope. And nobody's hit anything yet, right? Right. Or no damage, right? Okay. And then um, I can do the die rolls for the... Uh, let's see. There may not be five ships firing. Uh, let me look at the line. The lead ship definitely. Second ship, no. <coughs> Third ship, no. Fourth ship, no. Yes. So it's actually just your your lead and tailing battleships that have are able to see the target. Okay, let's get lucky. You're cut, yeah, you're turning turning through it. Um, so the O5 was on the, the flotilla and not on the Kasagi, so I didn't didn't suddenly have a hit on the Kasagi. So you are minus two on those. So let's walk through. It's just the forward guns on the Oyabia. So how many how many um, how many rounds are you firing? So that is uh, uh, two uh, two barrels. Um, so four rounds, range. probably. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. What is the range? Oh, let's get the range for you. Here, I'll hold it for you. Okay. It's just over eight thousand, and then the okay. four ship so in that, line. That's a rate of three, so it's six. Okay. I rolled a fifty-four. You didn't hit. Now you are just under twelve thousand from the trailing ship, but it's all of your weapons are an arc. So um, I'll roll that as well. I are you firing your secondaries on. as well as your primaries? I can test that. Sorry, but I missed with your missed your... with the primaries. So all right, the, the secondaries have a range of twelve thousand. So you should fire them on the lead ship. I'll roll for them. Nope, and the trailing ship is out. Who was the last person that just fired? That was Nakamov that just fired? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, so is that, is that everybody here had your your cruiser's head fired as well? <clears throat> Correct. Don't sell, your, don't sell yourself short back here. Can these guys fire at all? Interestingly, the Nakarov actually doesn't have any secondaries. <clears throat> really? The Nakanov? The Nakanov? Yeah. Nakamov. <laughs> Knock them off. All right. And then the Nikolai is the first in the in the second squadron. Correct. And I think they have. Let's go take a look. It has a range of uh, maximum range of ten thousand. What is the range? Mm, yeah, you're beyond that. You're at um, 
uh, over that. You're, you're definitely okay. But the next one, if it can reach, actually has a range of 18. It's got some big guns on it. Yes. <laughs> oh, we're in the third squadron. All right. There we are. So now we are back to we are back to the bigger over concentration. I'll roll for that. Uh, you're basically looking for an oh my god! Whoa, that was almost. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, your 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 guns didn't work. <laughs> mm, that was close. So that was uh, Proxen firing that one. Uh, Nicola. Yep. Oh, it was the, uh, okay. No, it was Proxen. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the, the next this. one that's surviving is twelve five. Is the range? So you're out. Just out, yeah. And the Oleg is the last. That's out of range as well. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. All right, Japanese, mess us up. Okay. Yep. Start with yours, Tom. Sure. Your... So, you I will all for all of them. Yeah. We'll figure out it later, right? Oh, uh, no. oh, yeah, hello? that was a mess. Eighty. No. Uh, no. Feel that secret gap. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah, so your whole line missed with primaries, but are you going to fire with secondaries? Yeah, I might as well try. <laughs> oh, although I don't know. Can, can you have. What? <coughs> oh, no, no. Never mind. Ooh, oh. that was a good oh, one. Oh, one. That is with a hit. <clears throat> Kasagi. It's secondary with Kasagi. Correct. Okay. So, but, uh, so, sorry, we must oh, yeah, sort out the hit. Kasaki? All right, so let's go a little So, that's yeah, going to be a long range broad aspect. All right. Yep. And gunnery FCS, let me see. What's, what, what is our range? Your six, right? Okay. Was Around, it oh, sorry. Or it's, it's actually, it's, it's a little above six, right? Right. So on your, on your eight or whatever you got there, is that medium or long on your secondaries? Uh, it's medium is up to 6,000. So it will be long. Okay. So now you're going to roll percentile to see if this is horizontal or vertical. Okay. You roll 24. This is horizontal. Uh, so my oh, horizontal wow. armor on the Suvorov is three. What is your horizontal penetration at this range? <laughs> Zero. Oh. So we have. Uh, so we would rather have hit the. It's, right. it's zero. It's zero at any oh. range. Oh, okay. That's that's pathetic. Yeah, um, but what, 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 what would it have been against vertical armor though? Uh, against vertical, it's three at short, two at the second oh, okay. short, so at it's, medium, it's and one flat, on long. It's a very flat um, yeah. Uh, thing, yeah, firing right, gun. So yeah. Now, <laughs> this gun. is... Uh, <coughs> give me a second. I believe this is class three. Let me let me look up the classes again. All right. Uh, okay. Damage effects. Uh, where is it? Let's see. It's on the ship, ship log, remember? Yeah, well, there's the class one, two, and three, but which is which? Class one is penetrating, class two is non penetrating, class three is by acc accumulated damage. Okay. All right. So this is a class two, so you're going to roll percentile again. How? Uh, 51. Okay. <laughs> How is, how is that? How the caliber of gun comes into it? Only only penetration comes into Correct. it, or guns? Right, Correct. right. All right. Oh. So I have a two two two. I have That's lost right. a damage control rating on here. So, <laughs> so damage of a loss of DCR one. Yeah. What so, was your sorry, original? Uh, I had fifteen amount originally. Of, amount of damage dealt is not really uh, affected by the. Uh, Gun caliber by the size it, of the shell. It could be. It, it could be. I, I believe. Um, it's factored in. I, I believe if you penetrate, you have a chance of a second hit. Then uh, that's modified by the size of the gun. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. That, that's it. Okay. Fine. <coughs> All right. Uh, yeah. The various damage effects have a uh, roll again. Ah. Uh, okay. It's it's only fact that if I actually do some damage, I get it. All right. Okay. Yeah. This does not have a damage point system, unlike Secret. Right. Which I like, actually. It's I actually like, oh, you lost machine. Like it. Oh, it's, yeah, it's yeah. cool. <clears throat> All right. Makes you not kind of nitty gritty too much. Yeah. Is there any other fire? 
uh, yeah, they that, that was fir- that, that was first. So Kasagi so, draws uh, first blood. So uh, <coughs> and that's it. Yeah, so that was the only hit. Ten o'clock. Was one of the best one. Yeah, only Kasagi. Kasagi only hit with secondaries, and that's it. Okay. <laughs> My son's like, first blood. How long have you been playing? <laughs> <laughs> Only an hour. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, this is it's going okay. All right. So, um, <laughs> you know, now that we got the groove, you know, the, the exactly. Yep, yep. It's just to take you got you got to play a good two turns. It's going to take you an hour and a half to get about two turns, and then then you start good. Yeah. And then things slow down again. Yeah. Sea Creek as you start doing damage effects. Yeah. Whatever. Sorry. Yes, exactly. I I agree. But that's when the fun starts. So. I will say that the movement, I, I, I like the scale. Like, you're going to get, I mean, we got within medium pretty quickly on the scenario here, at least, and we're in long, and we'll probably be within medium within a couple, at least one or two turns. So it's not that, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. it's a good scenario for this. Oh, yeah, this is fun. Yep. All right. So we have everything I'm firing from Makasa on Oslabia. Oslabia. Oh, just uh, <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> All right. Um, <coughs> You're Russian, of... sir. You speak it like a native. Yeah. Uh, okay. That's my my <laughs> Russian ululation. Your your impression of of a 1904 Japanese captain trying to pronounce a Russian word. There you go. Um. Let's. Okay. <laughs> I'll let that ride. All right. So, um. <laughs> All right. So Makasa. I'm gonna assume I have like the second better number of tubes coming at you here. Um, let's, let's look at my. Hold on, I gotta slow my roll while I'm actually looking at this. All right. So I have for my primaries. I still. I, I'm not gonna say I have a full broadside there. I think I only have two on you, right? Agree? Because I think the broadside goes about like this. It's yeah. Yeah, yeah. you definitely don't have broadside. Okay, so today. I think I have right. two. Two. Um, yeah. If you're looking at the front guns. or rear sixty, then you you don't have a broadside. Two guns and then my rate of fire. My rate of fire is two. What is my distance? And casemate, casemate guns, of course, are even narrower. So. We are at 10k, actually. So let's go look at that. 10k is within medium. Um, so we are at a rate of fire of two. And you have how many ships firing on the Uliaba? We have. I'm going to call it uh, definitely definitely we're in the three to four three to four yeah that's where okay we're so that's just a minus two okay so keep me honest still here as we go through so my gunnery medium what is my aspect mm, narrow correct uh your broad aspect okay broad right. aspect Right. Medium range, target speed, ten to eighteen. Okay, so I have a starting FCS of five. Okay, minus two takes you to three. Okay, and that's a basic. <coughs> I don't think of any other. There are no other modifiers. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I have two by two, which only gets me up to <laughs> four. Four. <rounds. laughs> uh, so I'm. And is this, the... Sorry, is this your first shot? So is it halved? No, we took shots before. Okay. Okay, so this is still abysmal. That, that was right. very antisocial of you. <laughs> Anticlimactic, if you will. <laughs> All right, so that was that was a miss. No, not for me. <laughs> okay, so second in line. Not. I still don't think it's good, right? For she. Shikashima firing over concentrated in the Slapia. I still think an 11 won't hit you. Does anybody, anybody disagree so. with that? Disagree at all? <coughs> uh, I think I need, I think I need an 04 or less for everybody. Well, yeah, if you're on like FCS three <laughs> with four rounds, right? Uh, I will look it go. up. Uh, you are at a four percent chance. Yeah, let me go look. No, three percent, three percent chance. Yeah, but let me go look at Shikashima. 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 Uh, 
just to make sure there's no differences. No, they are the same. They have 30, cil 30 centimeter, the same um, guns. So that was a miss on the second. Pull to do about nothing here. Let's just see if I get a Tom roll. Moscow right authorities here. plan to build Europe's largest cemetery. Now, why All is right, that being so I'm going to go now? back. I'm going to roll back through secondaries, okay? And I'm assuming I'm going to need really, really good rolls for those, right? <laughs> well, I, I, don't, I don't even have range, do I? Sorry. Nope. Yeah, forget it. All right, so nothing hits from here. Anybody disagree? I, I'm I'm, I'm definitely going to agree with you there, yes. So. <laughs> I don't think you're going to disagree with me. <laughs> I, I All think right, this uh, will finish next turn. Yes, I think next turn it's going to start getting a little crazy. All right, now before we do this, I'm going to be doing some very explicit signals to you, Tom. Now, the, yeah, question, yeah, arose, the uh, question arose from before, how close do I need to be for flag signals? And I couldn't find it when I looked before. Is it explained maybe in the flag signal handbook? Anybody, anybody watching can tell me too. I don't even it. have it, so. <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> oh, lovely. All right, we're darn well gonna look this up because this is very important for this rule. <laughs> yeah, but you know what we are. Yeah, I know, but it needs to be oh. within. It, we need to follow it because I think I'm within it, no matter what. But we do need to con continue to keep track of it because if we if we want to, <coughs> if we want to communicate with other divisions, it's gonna. It's going to take effect. Sure. <clears throat> oh, uh, I will pass along. I'll roll the dice, and then I will pass along to you, Aaron, my uh, my flag orders. Okay. Oh my goodness! For a moment, I wasn't. Look at that. Okay. Uh, so there are two flags this time. Uh, one is the rather superfluous follow in wake of leading ship, um, <laughs> and the other is engage opposite enemy ship. Which is the most detail you're getting from me at this range about how I want you I to mean, I, fire at the enemy. Right. <laughs> so this is something we, uh, this is something we should actually have checked before we even started. Was the visibility for the scenario, or does the scenario say it? Because it's let really me the, let me the look here. Scenario. Let's see, visibility all... 14, 14,000 yards. All right, sea state gonna... four, wind seventeen twenty one knots from the southwest. So we can all see each other. Yeah. So what did you see? That was that in the scenario. Yeah, it's on the map. There's a, a diagram of the locations of the ships. Um, now, am I to assume then that flag commands can only be done by just that visibility of the scenario? Uh, you're certainly not going to see further than that. Uh, sea Creek, right. I'm sure, gives ranges for all those lamps and everything else. And I think it's more abstract here. Um, do you all mind if I go get a cup of coffee? Because I'm desperate. I do not mind. You all need right, coffee everybody... to function. Everybody yeah, it. and I, I will use this opportunity to get one, too. I'll be right back.
And I'm back. So, Tom, let me signal to you. I uh, like this comparative uh, signals uh, security, me uh, announcing them in the clear during the game. <laughs> hey, Russian. Okay, and then the maximum turn rate. Now, why would they be building the largest uh, cemetery in the Moscow region now? Hmm. Wouldn't these For all be seconds. burials at sea? <laughs> Let's see. I thought they were using mobile crematoriums. Oh, yeah. Zoka 200. That's for the civilians. <laughs> Hold on, I'm starting to mark my flags here because this is going to start to get important here. Um, you know, as a as a student of World War II, it's so neat to be able to pull out like Paulus's battle plans from like Frederica's II and go, "Yep, Ukrainians are reading their history." <laughs> so same encirclement. So, what do you think is going to happen when the winter kicks in? Uh, I think we're going to find out the Russians are shockingly unprepared for winter combat, which is ironic. Like, they don't have enough winter uniforms, so the people they're conscripting and so on. Um, the question is, to me, whether the Russians will take the time and have the organizational skills to turn these conscripts into effective units. If not, they're a mob, and uh, they'll just they'll just get routed. So we'll see. Do you think they're going to deploy the constructs actually in Ukraine or just use them to fortify the, the other locations and take uh, uh, troops off the other locations? They have no choice. They don't have anyone to put into Ukraine except the people they're conscripting right now. That's why they did it. They yeah. would not have gone with uh, a conscription for the war if they had any alternative. They've they basically run through the regular military. That's why they're relying so heavily on the only place they're doing offensive operations is with mercenaries. Okay, I'm back. And that explains, too, why the situation has changed so radically. A continued attack towards Bakhmut no longer makes any military sense, but they're doing it because the army that's attacking Bakhmut is kind of self-contained. So, I, I mean, the military side, aren't they going for the political play of uh, the, let's annex these regions and then effectively if you attack them, you're making war against Russia. That is that's that's the bluff uh, Putin's playing. Uh, kind of the last card he had. Speaking of and bluff. and if well, he's got two choices. Basically, Ukraine's going to keep conquering ground, and uh, either he's really going nuclear or he's not. And if he goes nuclear, then uh, I have no idea how far it will go. We're, I think, it's the most dangerous situation in our lifetime since like Abel Archer. Yeah. All right. Sorry to interrupt, but the uh, flag's locked in. Okay. I, my orders are in. How about you, Aaron? Uh, yes. Okay. All right. I'm ready to move. Starting moves. Oops, I didn't get a five. 
they're moving. Okay. I'll do 45 port. That was that was my ten intention. Yeah, that's not quite right. Be about there. And then you come up to the turn and one pivot. All right. Actually, with the fight controls of this period, I'm surprised they hit anything at this range. <laughs> they, they, they basically couldn't see anything, could they? Uh, they're kind of just doing this with telescopes and iron sights and so on. Um, uh, so that was basically uh, that was a golden BB that, that hit. So, well, that drag and drop is pretty cool. That's. Uh... <laughs> The joys of virtual. Oh yeah! Oh heck yeah! Yeah, that would take a lot longer in real <laughs> on the convention table. The snake has slithered. So, whenever you're ready, I'm ready to move. I can help you if you want. Yeah, um, please. My my lead ship turns forty five degrees to starboard. I'm worried about clipping the tail. Of, uh, of that other squadron, you mean right I'm here? increasing to 12 knots. Yeah, Ooh. okay. Let's let's use a marker. Where the heck did I put that little Where did I put that little marker? There it is, right? Um, marker. All right, Eat. we'll use this marker for turning um so you're going you've increased to 12 correct correct all right so i'm gonna use that and then we still gotta mark we still gotta demark how much of a how much of a degree a degree turn you're doing you're 45 in 45 yeah which is my maximum standard. Okay, so your maximum standard, but then that's going to reduce your speed to what effective speed? Does it say 10? Uh, that is an excellent question. Should be on your ship wall. Yeah, if he's going, you're going 13, right? Uh, I am current. going, but I'm going 12. He's 12? Going 12. So you will go yeah. 9 knots on the table. Yeah. Okay, so cool. Where do you see that? If you look... Oh, I got it. I got it. Yep, yeah, I got it. Yep, thank you. All right, so he's got 2.34 divided by 2. He's going to go 1.1. And is that, speed loss, is that the same for all ships? Is that the same table, basically? That loss of speed is the same for everybody, yeah. Okay. So 1.7, then you're going to go 22.5, right? <laughs> Which is about, please keep me honest, right about there or there? Uh, back one. There, you think? <laughs> Yeah. That's, okay, and then he's gonna yeah. go one point one seven again. Yeah, the the other one you were doing. Uh, you come back to your towards the Japanese a bit. Yeah, I can see from right the model there, angle. Yeah. yeah, and then you get another. I'm on the flag bridge going like about like no, that. No, he did a forty five degree turn, right? That's more like ninety. Yeah, yeah you got to go back twice. That's right. This is his ending forty five. Is that what yeah. you're saying? I'm looking I'm looking back for the flag bridge gun. I didn't order that. Keep me honest here. <clears throat> Looks about right. And then the second the third squadron and the flotilla would just slide in behind. About here. Sure. Beautiful. Close like enough. we're, like we're on maneuvers. <laughs> like we've we've sailed over to Balliol, and it's a right. sunny day off in London. That looks pretty. Scotland, at least. yeah. <laughs> Wherever. Until we start firing at each other. All right. Yeah. The Baltic. <laughs> well, I just say you know, it, it it looks like looks like our maneuvers with the British fleet, you know. Oh right. Uh -huh. I uh, when we are shooting did? at British sailing boats, uh, fishing they, boats. They did many of those? <laughs> uh, there was a lot. Before the war, there was a lot of like 
the various navies would show up at each other's uh, oh yeah that's... events and things like that. Of course, this particular fleet had just shot at uh, English fishing boats. Let me ask you: and these caused a, a crisis. His cruisers here would block. I need to read more mind. about this. The, the cruisers are the same size as the the, the, the battleships, battleships. So yes, yeah. they they are masking. So. Oh, at least here. Sorry, Peter. <laughs> no, that's what we. That's what I wanted, actually. Honestly, uh, I mean, it's to some degree, at least. Oh, uh, you, ma you make me sacrifice my. That's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> Banzai. Banzai. <laughs> right. You will love it. <laughs> we will write poetry for you. Right. My my firing is changing. Um, there was the engage opposite. So uh, my battle line is now going in uh, reverse order down your uh, your line of uh, cruisers. So okay, so you're doing this, you mean? Yeah. So Suvorov on Ottawa, for example. Yeah. Ottawa, ironic. So um, uh, I will. Yep. Go ahead. I can just yeah we'll start you with the line. Five. Okay. Basically, you're. Five, I'm now at eight. short range, so I've got half rate of fire, so I got four rounds on to, the just nine to, chart. Yeah. Just to be nitpicky, you're at 5,400. Yeah, I'm at short range. Okay, yeah. perfect. I yeah. just wanted to mention. The next big thing we've got to watch for as we head into knife fighting range. 4K range, is that right? Yeah, at 4,000 yards, you start getting a big FCS bonus. That's what you got to watch out for, Tom. Yeah. By the way. That'll okay. be next turn. Next turn, that's going to start eating into you real bad. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's a miss. I will check it. I'm on the nine chart with, yeah, four rounds. It'll be a miss. Yeah, uh, right now. Let's see. Five. Five. That's a 15%. 15% chance from the Suvorov to the Ottawa. All right. Next up, we have the Alexander on the Nitaka. Nitaka? <coughs> yeah. I got <coughs> All, right. All right. Oh, and my second verse. I don't know if it's a or if it's actually yeah. Ni Itaka. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, Ni Itaka. Okay. So I have six guns at medium range. It would normally be 30, so it's down to 15. So here we go. First 10 rounds. Last five rounds. Okay. Suvarov is missed with everything. All right. Alexander firing. Uh, let me check range again. My second to his third. You talk, uh, Alexander. Six thousand yards. Okay, um, so that is uh, that's four rounds on the nine again, and rolling away. I can't see the die. I'm too zoomed out. Nope. And then secondaries, same deal as before. First ten rounds. Last five Ooh. rounds, that might be something. That is on the five, no, on the three chart, so probably not. Three chart, five rounds, that will not do it. That will be a 5% chance. The 10%, the 10 rounds would have been a 14% chance. Mm -hmm. Alas. Okay, so now we have Borodino on Chitose. Yeah. Three. I'm assuming that's under six as well. They all seem to be. Uh, I can oops. check. Yep. Range, you mean? Yeah. And that's well, the uh, my ships uh, that can use it. No, <clears> Everyone okay. is below five. I, I can <clears throat> do that. Right. No, not back here. At least. Nope, nope, everyone, nope. everyone is just below five. Secondary 83. I don't agree with that at all. Okay. I have missed with the Borodino. Now the Orel is going to be even less likely because it's only the front arcs. So, Orel has missed with the primaries and missed with the secondaries. Okay. Blasting away. And the Yemchug still has that flotilla. Well, maybe can't fire at the lead flotilla anymore. It's going to change targets. You can probably fire at Ottawa. What? No, I still have the lead. I still have the lead one. Okay. All Let's right. Fire on the flotilla in general. Yeah. Here. Okay. I oh. really don't want that flotilla near you, do you? Oh, my goodness. Oh, eight. All right. Hmm. I got to look it up now. All right. Yemchug is firing four guns at a rate of fire of five as 20. So this being the first uh, 
I didn't declare it, so I'll say it's 10 rounds, because you can go up to... You can go up to... Oh, no, you can do 20. You can do 20. So, um, 20 rounds on the long-range broad aspect for me is a 4. That is a 26% chance. I have one hit on the flotilla. Now, to determine what I've done to the flotilla, we use F2. I roll 76 damage. One ship uh, in danger of sinking due to flooding. So oh, I mean, uh, it's, yeah, that's, it's F1, not F2. 76. Oh. One torpedo tube out of action on two ships. That's DEF8. So you're. Uh, it looks like those are individual destroyers, and the in the so you have four ship flotilla. So you, now you're down to two two torpedo tubes. All right, let's go ahead and mark that then. Uh, I'll do it on the lead ship. Okay, two two torp, oop, two torp out of action. Two or four, yeah, right. Okay, that was all my Good fire. <laughs> All right, so the Oslobia. Yeah, I am engaging the opposite leading ship. So, Sagi, let's check range just real quick. Or is it the or is it the Makasa? I think it's the tail ship, right? So, no. You're gonna do this one. That one, yeah. Oh, that's what you had said. Okay, so you got seven k. It's either seven k to that or a little bit more than that, (laughs) almost eight to me. So seven k, so seven k it is, which still puts me at medium range, which gives me a rate of fire of three. So the question then, though, is: Do you want to fire on these cruisers, or do you want to fire on the battleship? And then, yeah, the only order you got from me was engage opposite. So you have to decide what I I would. I would (laughs) interpret that as the god, as they call me. There you go. (laughs) Um, I I I, I will. uh, I will take I the advice of my executive officer and shoot at yeah. the ship. I think you're still <laughs> in that same range band, right? Okay, so yeah, under eight. Yep. Uh, shall I roll for him, or you, would you like? To roll? Yes, please. Go ahead. All right. First ship firing primaries. Oh boy, that was <laughs> that was not <laughs> that a hit. Looked like it was gonna. That looked like it was gonna be. Yeah. Um, so it's right. it's twelve. It, it it's twelve halves. So it's six shots. All right. So you're still here. Veliki is doing the same on the well, well it will be he'd be going off. by okay, by so the so numbers you'd be going down the line so like yeah, uh, so opposite Kishima. you it's really difficult yeah. to know what i meant here because uh he's crossing your t uh i'm gonna go ahead and say you would probably fire on makasa i mean let's just it's what he can a, see it, it's okay yeah, yeah. all right you can only see the head that. of the line so yeah so nope 48 all right what about this guy he's got a Two barrel, two barrels, or four, two or four. Yeah, he's uh, he's within he's, range. He's the uh, his maximum range is ten thousand five hundred. Let's go look at that though. Nicholas, and 10, he has, Ooh. really? And he has two barrels. So he's long range here. Uh, he would be a medium range. For some reason, there's no long range uh, oh. column. On some this, of these older uh, ships, they didn't uh, they didn't design the really to the knob run. Yeah, I didn't. Which know ship that. are okay. we on? Are we on the Navarin? Navarin to the Magasa. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it has a rate of fire of two, with two okay. barrels, uh, right. halved because of the first shot. Right. So right. two rounds. But he's. Is this for, you mean meaning first shot on this target? Is that where we're Correct. classifying yeah. that? Yep. Okay. Yeah, because he he had to switch targets. Yeah. 22. Not bad, but probably not good enough. Do we, do we even bother? No, we're not going to look it up for two two okay. shots. Yeah. All right. And I then think I don't I'll... think the last ship has any targets. So let me, let me take. And the next squadron. Yes, yeah, they're still all. They're crossing their now, own team. Just, <laughs> just to annoy you guys, I think I may be within range of secondaries for my first ship. But yes. The, the you, should, you should fire him. You should fire him. Yeah. Well, you would yeah. fire him here. I mean. Honestly, you would probably fire your secondaries on the destroyers. That would be my historical well, accuracy thing. But the, it's, the Kasagi... they're really 
that's really <coughs> like he's really not where he's worrying about the destroyers. The secondaries in this era are used against uh, uh, battleships. Uh, and yeah, for quick fire sake. Yeah, you're correct. You're right. Now, if the flotilla right. were closer, we'd we'd issue a fire on flotilla order, and then that would be all the secondaries. Yep. So. So we're going to go down the line secondary here, 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 and so well, it might, it's probably only the lead two ships. All right, yeah. that's what I think too. All right, so here's your first one. Ooh, eighteen almost. Well, uh, uh, it's half rate of fire, but it's uh, how many rounds are we talking? These have got a high rate of fire, so it's five barrels uh, with a range for, with a rate of fire of uh, three, so fifteen. So okay. normally it'd be fifteen. We got a half of that. We round yep. up, so it's eight rounds. And what was your FCS on the secondaries? Uh, so this is a medium range. Uh, yeah, actually, that's this, what, what is the range? Sorry, I think that's. You measure it. wrong wrong ship. Oh, it's Mikasa. Yeah, it... No, it's Mikasa to the lead. I didn't think he even had range for secondaries. What's what's the range on his secondaries? Twelve thousand. Wrong ship. Yeah, I'm just checking. Yeah, they're out. They're out. No. This... He's within eight. Okay. Oh, you're right. You're right. Okay. That's just, that's under 8,000. So, so that puts it at medium range. Uh, and this okay. would be narrow, right? So it would give a FCS of three. FCS of bad. three with eight rounds is an 8% chance. Jeez. God. These are. You got wet. Are... You got wet on the flag bridge again. So. <laughs> All right. So the miracle here is we had the one non penetrating <laughs> hit, and it wasn't uh, shrapnel perforating the flag. You got a good hit here. Your gym chick got a hit on the. No, no, no. But the first hit out. on a ship. Yeah, all right. Was I, like I, traditionally I we we hit the flag bridge with those hits. Which remember we did the last time we played this. Yes, game. we, which was very cool actually. All right, Japanese um, mess us up. So Tom, finest British uh, fire control and cannon. Yeah. <clears throat> So wait, from Kasagi, I, I'm i looking at my FCS because we are, every everyone will fire at Suvorov still. So it's okay. five, right? Five Let, point, you're at 5.15. Yeah, uh, doesn't matter, below 6,000 it is yeah, a short good. for my main, okay. Okay. main guns. So right. I will roll, but my... Don't I see, I have short, broad, so my base... FCS is seven. What's our over concentration now? Uh, all of them. So four ships. That's okay. Nice You're down to the five column. Yep. How many rounds on the five? Uh, four. Okay. You have an 8% chance. No. <laughs> uh... you, you, all you could see are splashes. You don't know who's, et cetera. <laughs> <coughs> sure. I'm looking if Chitoza has it differently, but not so. Ooh. Nope. No. Nope. Oh, nice no. Wrong, wrong dice. Yeah. Okay. Ah. Ooh, that's 11. 11. So about as close be... as you've gotten, but not quite. Ooh, almost, but nope. Almost. Okay, so secondaries for uh -huh. Kasaki. I don't know what it will be. What what numbers we are looking for? But uh, I guess if it's less than, Ooh, if it's not 14, less than, no, no. No. pretty good, pretty good try, good splashes. Yeah, I don't I don't know how it is for the secondaries though. Well, that's be more rounds and lower FCS, so we'll have to. Check. Yeah. Mm, okay, that that would be it. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna just do. Let's see what do we got here from Mikasa. Uh, I still have it as firing on the van, so we're probably gonna over concentrate. I don't know the third canny so, GM, so we're not gonna over concentrate. So no over con. So these two are firing on Oslabia. Okay, so it's not gonna be an over concentration ship, by the way. Nice. So what is our range here? Which is probably what we should have been doing before. Okay. Uh, yeah, under 8K. Let's go look at Mikasa. Uh, my Casa. Tsukata. Where is. Okay, here's Mikasa. Is that a. How much do we have on there? Do we have the broad on that finally? I'll ask for a ruling on that. 
What? Which ship to which ship? The Mikasa to the. Yeah. You are definitely you are definitely firing at a broadside target. All right. So. Yeah, all it's right. only the front, like thirty off the the bow and stern that is. Um, so I have yeah. four. Four by two, so eight. Eight would be my rounds, and the. Uh, I just lost it. Sorry, y'all. Um, my distance is. <sighs> I think we are still medium because we're not within six. So rate of fire is two, two and eight. Okay. Any other adjustments? So your broad, medium, your speed is. So I got a uh, FCS of five. Um, hopefully I'm doing that. So right. How many shots? How many rounds? Eight. So eight on the five. Oh, I got a fifteen percent chance of hitting on these. Finally. Nice, you're up to real numbers, yeah. Yeah. All right, so here's my. I'm trying to find. No, Come on. and um, Shikishima, doing similar. Ooh. Oh, I thought that was one. Nope. All right, now secondaries are out of range. I let's just check. So that's within. S that's X within six. Oh, that's why. Um, okay. Oh, yeah. He's with. He's medium range. As a matter of fact, yeah. Oh, wow. They got a bunch. So seven by four. Um. All right. Uh, let's see. All right. So you got. Wow. We got twenty-eight rounds going at medium. That's a five. Any other adjustments to the? medium broad five for the secondaries now we understand did why you, the secondaries are so important oh yeah include, they fire much faster yeah did you include so, the target size is, is should it be six? Oh, we got to remember that target size is one uh oh, so unless we're firing six. at the destroyers yeah yeah so i'm up to the six column any other modifiers of note no over concentration no uh, i'm sorry how many shells did you say uh 28 well, that's not good. Peter Robert that's right. is live. Right. You might actually right. hit. So, yeah. Um. So what? How do we break that up into a twenty and an eight? You could do. You could do twenty and eight. Yeah. And you. That, I mean, eight. is that is that how we're gonna do it? Let's let's call it here now. Though. Sure. The chart goes to twenty. We may as well do by twenties. Twenty to eight. All right. So. On the you can table, you I can declare find. a different breakdown if you wish at mm. the time, but we don't call it. It's up to twenty yeah. is the first die roll. All right. So. I got a 40% chance of this. All right. And a hit. And I got it. All right. So All right. 37, though, makes only one hit, right? Right. On that. So that's one hit from the 20. And then on the 8 table uh, for the 6, the... I have an 18% chance. I don't like how that's done, quite honestly. Um, I'm going to be a little critical of the rules here. 18%. Yeah. Oh, God. That didn't do <laughs> Okay. Oh, no, it, so it, here's 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 what I don't like about that. Okay. You could break it up any way you want. Just tell me. Yeah, that but the, but I, I don't think I don't think that should be. I think it should be a rule. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's like. But they're statistically equivalent. I mean, unless you want to do differential <laughs> equa equations on. No, it, how know? can it? <laughs> well, well, right. But what we're just basically saying is that eight shells have an eighteen percent chance of hitting, and twenty, 20 shells of, have right. A, and if you do you know, fourteen twice, you're two rolls for thirty. Yeah, I don't know. There's some. That's 60 know. versus 58. <laughs> Top logic. All right. All right. So um, I one hit. I would now yeah. penetrating. I check. So that was a. So what well, is the, the first thing you do is determine whether it's horizontal or vertical. Yes. Right. So what is the range? Uh, what 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 range medium. band were you in? Medium. Okay. So do you want to? 47. 47 is vertical. So that would be vertical, and my vertical is five. All and right, your vertical penetration is seven. With the secondaries, wow. Wait, hold on. Okay. Let, me double check. let me double check. Not good. Hold on, let me double check that. I think I might have. You're going to no, look at the I penetration was, table no, medium. Two. No, it's yeah. two. It's no, two. it's two. Sorry. All right. So, so roll... you, you hit more often, but you don't get as much damage, which yeah. makes sense. You're going to roll percentile again, and then the, that's going to determine which class two hit this is. 
You've rolled 80. 80. So Aaron, now you're going to look at your ship and you're going to put a check mark uh, for class two. 208, is that? That's 208. 208. And then I will read 208 to you. 208. Damage to secondary battery control systems. Port to starboard secondary battery may not fire next game turn. And then somebody roll a die. Evens odds, what is port to starboard? Evens, it'll be port. Let's have that be the yeah, it's the green die. Yeah. So port side cannot fire secondary next turn. And okay. you lose a DCR point. Yeah. Did you see where I checked that off? Yeah. Upper right. Yep. Okay. That's not I'm, good. I'm also marking it on the model. Huh, there's no 209. Mysterious. Hmm. Like the 13th floor of Admiral of the Fleet. <laughs> um, all right. So that's all that, I think. I don't think. Let's go look back here ish, right? This, the, the masking ends about here, correct? Yeah, you just, if, yeah, ruler and it doesn't go through another ship. Yeah, the uh, fourth ship could take a shot. Yeah. And the fifth one would probably go on the same one. Cool. At, so, the, right, so the fourth ship is. Let me, the, check, no. let me check my ranges. Let me check my ranges on these two Kasuga and Nishin. Kasuga and Nishin. Nation, nation. Range is 14.5. So, yes, I got it, right? Cool. And nation. I think so, yeah. So, primaries, let's just roll for them. I'm rolling for Kasuga. 40, nah, that ain't going to do it. Mm -hmm. And from the back here. Nope, for primaries. Um, are we within secondary ranges? Probably not. Just double check secondary range. It would not be very many of your secondaries. They'll It'll be, be the ones in the like the the front. No, not quite. Only. Yeah, yeah, not quite. It wouldn't yeah, even be well, your fine. wouldn't even be your your center yep. mount turret. We're fine for the four pointing ones. Yeah, we can we can ignore that. That's fine. All, All right, right. Uh, I think that's it for that. We can start writing for turn four. Okay. Right, when you're ready, here, Aaron, I'm going to roll to see if I issue flag orders to you. Sure. I do. Look at that. All right. Three flags. Alter course, port 30. Okay. Now, just of interest, um, yeah, why are you selecting 30s rather than, say, 45s? Uh, there is no particular reason. Gotcha. It was just my uh, opinion about the, the situation that was driving that. Okay. Thank you. Um, generally speaking, I wanted to cross the Japanese T and get us closer to being in a, a battle line. I didn't I didn't like the the Russian double column thing. So Yeah. All right. I am done with my flag orders. What about you, Tom? Yeah, I will continue on the course that I have. All right. Stretching line. Very Japanese. Sail to the guns. All right, we when did, you guys are ready, I'm ready to test We everything. did see some of the effects of quick firing. Yeah. Much degree, but. Yeah, I, I don't know if we calculated my secondaries correctly previous time, so I will check them more thoroughly. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's just. Well, because I think I, I, I rolled. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they yeah, definitely always look very carefully at your secondaries because they do have a very good rate of fire. Yeah, I actually wanted to <clears throat> slow down to 12, 12 knots, but... Uh... Did you mark it? No. <laughs> <laughs> because I forgot. No, no, no problem. Like weepy kitten voice, Tom. Okay. That was awesome. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know what I didn't, I didn't write down, too, so I'm going to live with it for another turn. So. 
All right, everybody, move them. Right, I, I started to move. I have with 40 knots. I have 3.6, right? That's correct. Cool. I am going 15. And then these guys, yeah, but I'm still finishing the turn that I started the game with. So, at last I am in line. <laughs> That's more like it. All right. And then, let's see. Up, oh, switch tools on you. Let's see. I bravely screen you, Peter. <laughs> this, is, this is going to turn into a slug fest, right? So, why, why was it so one sided in reality? It's a good question. Other environment. Other environmental issues, the uh, and then of course the ships themselves, as we kind of called out at the beginning, the uh, Japanese could out out speed the Russians. Russians out. didn't really did what you did, and they they allowed Japanese to cross their T for whatever reason I don't know, but they pretty much didn't turn. Probably like because, you, I mean, for a long there, time. <clears throat> I I need to re up on the battle again, but I, I don't know if the intention was specifically to get the hell out of the, get the hell out of dodge or engage. I, and, and I, I don't know. I I remember I I remember Japanese crossed their T and basically killed anything that was in front and killed them one by one from what I remember from the accounts. Why did Russians did it. No idea. <laughs> Remind me how you upright a ship that you knocked over. F, F, with it back over. F for the flip. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Never mind that my destroyer division is in the exact wrong place. Uh, I'll sort that out somehow later. <laughs> so ships don't fight very well when they're at, uh, upside down on the table. <laughs> they don't. They uh, they serve briefly as boats, like uh, the Elon Musk Cybertruck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, uh, so, so when you're ready, uh, if someone could move me, please. And you are doing a port thirty. I'm doing port thirty, speed thirteen knots. Okay. All righty. <coughs> That's gonna be about one point two. Oh. And. And a turn again. And then these guys, they're going to go through the turn. Oh, shoot. Right, not select, select. Hmm. This is going to get, this is going to get quite interesting Two. at some point here. Okay. Point two. Do you need any help pulling things up at all? Once you I'd, get these up I'd love out. it. Yeah, yeah. Just get these up and I'll, I'll help you. Your turn is around here ish. I'm going to put a dice right there for now. Just so I. Yeah. All right. So you're going to come up right about here is what you're trying. Yeah. Yeah. And he's finishing turn. And then these guys are just, they're still line of heading into it. <sighs> about I've yonder. changed history by not. Uh, Sacrificing myself to your uh, <laughs> to your formation. Let's see. So fifteen knots is three six four. All right. Oof, this is gonna get nasty. Uh, I think they're almost they're almost to where they would turn. I'll find out. Let's see. 
yes. when it's turned. I like, I like that. The whole the whole game has been them trying to get to where they they take their turn. It's very pretty. Yeah. It's pretty while they're still floating. <laughs> Nobody, and no and no carnage over the, the deck. I guess. That's right. Well, one thing that's happening to me is uh my targets keep shifting around in front of me, so I'll probably mm -hmm. have to issue different flag orders next turn, or emphasize them, <laughs> engage opposite. So that's the end of the Japanese move, also. I think so, yeah. All right. I, I suspect in reality, all you could see is column smoke, right? The, the, exactly. The, the exactly. Yeah. Giving off an awful lot of. Uh, oh yeah. Speaking of. Cold smoke. So. Oh yeah, these guys. Yeah, they're going up to this top is, speed oh, with smoke, with coal, do. with dirty coal. Like I think our coal is awful. So <laughs> extra awful. Oh, this darn map. I hate this map. Well, although I suspect the, the the Russian ships actually the modern Russian ships make more um, smoke than the uh, the original ones, right? <laughs> these ones. Certainly the carrier. Which apparently it's, uses uh, uh, it burns uh, uh, used uh, tires. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Well, they have that thing in dry dock, and there's speculation it may never it may never sail again. So, there's some. Wait, what, was that the carrier that caught fire? Yeah, yeah, and that's the one that clearly something's terribly wrong with the engines. So. This is about what we see, probably a bunch of smoke behind you. Yeah, oh yeah. The smoke is traveling. The one east. thing. <laughs> that's uh, another thing that, yeah, the, the, uh, the yeah, that's one thing we haven't really yeah. doing too much. Yeah. Ooh, that's, that's rough. That wouldn't have helped the Russians either. No. Um, I think we're, <clears> you know, uh, actually there is a lot of wind, 17 to 21, and that would keep it from being too thick. Uh, yeah. Okay. yeah. All right. it, it would be if you're sailing in the wake of another ship, then, then that's where, like, you know, like, like you've sailed into another formation's, uh, smoke that that's where it would affect you here. It's, uh, just for timing wise, let's, line, let's yeah. try to get through this turn and maybe the next turn. Let's agree to that. Okay. That sounds yeah. about right. Yeah. We've all, all right. got, all right. I still have yeah. some post hurricane things to worry about. So, all right. All right. Japanese, you want to roll first this turn? I can roll first. Okay. I will still concentrate concentrate fire on super okay. off. So there's so there's... what what the over concept how much Just, how you large two, is the you can have fire? up to two you can have up to two ships on one ship. And then that if you are be... three to four, it's minus two. If it's yeah. five or more it's minus four. So you have four ships firing on You on definitely probably want to stop doing that. I and mean, Peter, you're Yeah, Peter, you think you're... I should? Yeah. I would do two on each ship. Yeah, okay, so let's say okay. Ottawa and Nitaka will fire at Suvorov and Chitoze and okay. Kasagi and will fire at Alexander. I think that makes right. So your sense. two lead ships are going to be at half rate of fire again. So. Yep. <clears throat> oh, <right>. So two. <laughs> uh, okay. Two? Which yeah, two. Are you going to do from the front of your line or from the back of your line? Oh, from the front. Okay. So Kasagi is. Let me check. So it's it's first turn of fire on, on him, right below. Under five, over four. So it's... you're going to be probably short range. Yeah, short range at broad. It's your your speed is still. It's fifteen. It's fifteen. Okay, so it's seven. My okay. basic MCS. And your rate of fire halved. Uh, two. And how many guns? It's four guns. Two. Two guns. Two guns. They have okay. only two. So you have a six percent chance. Great. You took into account your oh. your size. Oh yeah, sorry, eight seven percent chance. Great. That's that's the difference. Okay, so and Chitoza, let me let me just see what what's the number of guns in Chitoza exactly the same. Okay. I think they are the same class, probably. Okay. That's it. And Nitaka actually has. So Nitaka is firing like next turn, right? So four guns 
And Rate of Fire two. No, Rate of Fire oh, of them is fire. actually six. Yeah. Oh, these are all secondaries. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> no, okay. they only have secondaries. N Nitaka only has six, one hundred fifty millimeter guns, and that's it. So it's firing thirty six rounds. Uh, six times four. Oh, six 24. times four. Okay, twenty four rounds. Oh. Okay. All right. First twenty rounds, fifty percent, fifty one percent chance. Ooh, you got it. No, it was one. eighty something. <sighs> okay. Okay. All right. Oh, never mind. And the last four was a thirteen percent chance. Okay. And then your last ship. <sighs> Uh, well, you get secondaries on the first two as well. So. Yeah, and the second. And this one also has two guns. Why is it like that? Ottawa has two, two different main guns. guns, rate of fire three. All right, so six rounds. What's the chart? Uh, seven. Okay. It's, so it's the same, same as the rest you of the You have point. a 19% chance. So, no. Okay. Wait, it was six. Okay, so now, sorry, I need to go through the secondary. Uh, yep. Except so secondary is for Kasagi. The FCS is five. So six chart. The, how many rounds? Wait, this is four times five, I believe. The range is. Except you're halved. Yeah. So two. Right. So two times five. So ten. Ten rounds on the. You said FCS of five. So that's the yep. six, twenty-two percent chance. Yeah, we did it incorrectly previously, I believe. Uh, right, right, right. And Chitose is pretty much the same from what I All see. Right. So five, ten rounds. Oh, what do we roll? Not quite. Nineteen. Ten, uh, Nineteen. Yeah, that's one hit. If you're on the six chart with 10 rounds, that is a 22% yeah. chance you got to hit. Okay. Yeah. And this is short or medium? Uh, wait, this is Secondary. unfortunately... Wait, I, I am above a four, right? Right. Yes. Uh, so it's it's medium, unfortunately. Right. Percentile... The short is at, at 4,000. Okay. And this is oh, on yeah. the uh, Alexander three. Okay. Right. Yes. All right, percentiles? 27. Want? All right, that is a vertical. My uh, vertical armor is six at this range. Well, What's your no, vertical? Not close, yeah. even two. Penetration okay. is two. So Percentiles a... again. Ninety, uh, sixty-five. Okay. That would be a two-two-nine damage effect, class two. I'm looking it up. Main radio room out of action, loss of a fire control system. I probably do have a wireless, maybe. And then I gotta figure out which fire control system I've lost. Uh, I will do one through five, it's a primary, six through zero, it's okay. a secondary. <clears throat> that's a one or a seven. I can't. Uh, that's that's a one. Okay. Primary. All right. So that so was one fire. That's just one fire control. Do you have to say bow or stern? Is there bow or no, stern? So or fire or... control system is is for the whole or ship. Or it's director fire control. Uh, but you know, when when you run out, then your your FCS for the ship is halved. I have not run mm. out. So, okay. so it's so just okay. also one primary. Wait, though. that was that was for Chitose for Chitose, right? Chitosa on the on Alexander the Third. Oh wait, yeah, yeah, that's on the second ship. That's right. Okay. 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 So Nitaka don't have secondaries. Okay. Which I screw up, and Ottawa has three, three guns. The rate of fire four. So twelve rounds. And what's the FCS? Uh, five. Okay, six chart, twelve rounds, twenty-six percent. Oh, oh, sorry, three, three. My my bad, three. It's it's FCS of three. Oh, okay. So that means a seventeen percent. Include target size. Yeah, I did. And last two, right? Okay, now. No, no, uh, I, I was all twelve rounds. Oh, okay. So that's all from me. Okay. And Peter, you've got some shots at that. Yeah, but let's let's be honest here. Okay, let's see what we can see. I'm gonna say the first. 
You're looking not so good other than your lead ship, other than the Mikasa. Well, oh, your yeah. second ship can see the the second or third in line. For All sure. right, so, this, so Mikasa's going to get an unhalved fire right. on Maslava. And then these guys back here are going to get, well, let's see. Yeah, exactly. They're going to get halved attempts on probably the... I'm going to give you the second and yeah. third ship, but not the fourth. Yeah. The fourth okay. is a really narrow. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I think so. Um, well, you're right, the so god, so you pick. <laughs> no, that's okay. Primary Makasa on Osalabia. No. No primaries from Shikishima to Veriki. Are we a negative? Uh, third ship firing on, I'm assuming, the third one. No, it'll be a negative as well. What about secondaries? Mikasa. Secondaries, Mikasa on Oslavia. Um, let's just roll. Yeah, you're right, over six thousand. Fifty-seven. Yeah, that's uh, so. That's probably a miss. All right. So how many rounds? Oh, Mikasa. That's a full broadside. Yeah. Give me a second. Give me a second. Okay, that would be seven by. How far are we away? Over 6,000. All right, so that'll be 7 by 4. 28. So 28. Rounds. And what's your FCS with the secondaries? Uh, hold on. FCS on the secondaries. It's Admin. probably the FCS is going to be undoing yeah. this. So. 5 is the default there. Yeah, the target. you're a 40% yeah. chance with a target size of 1. Okay, so we missed. That was the second one, right? And then secondaries from Fuji, which I don't even think. Did we just finish? No, that was Mikasa has done primary and secondary. Nobody else has okay. done secondaries. All right, so okay. secondaries from Shikoshima to Veliki. And, and that's halved. Yes, you're right. Oh, we're going to have to look at that. Nine. Yeah. No, okay. Right. So How many rounds? Let me, let me get this. Oh, so looking quick. at the arc... Uh, I think that's that's a full broad. Is that a full broad? So seven Long by... turreted, yeah. And what was the range again? Let's measure. All right. Second to second is uh, 7,000. All right. So For some reason, I've lost the speed. video. What was that? For some reason, I can't see the uh, the game board anymore. Uh -oh. oh, hold on. How about now? Uh, that's it. Got it. Thank you. <coughs> All right. You rolled um, a 19. And you were, then we got to figure out how many rounds and what FCS. Uh, there was uh, 28 rounds. That's so I halved? definitely hit with the. So Are you I, sure you halved it? No, I didn't have it. So 14, 14. total. And what's your FCS? Yes. The FCS was originally five without any other modifiers, right? So that's what one target hit. size. One hit. All right. All right. So now percentile to um, see if it's horizontal or vertical. It, it was which, from. The Veliki. Shima to the Veliki. Okay. And that's medium right, range? So just, correct. And right. I just rolled a 28. Veliki, which vertical armor. Vertical. Okay, which vertical. has got a 7. Okay, so I definitely didn't get through that. But All right. Percentile again for class 2. You rolled 07. 07 so that's going to be a 205. Which I will look up. Temporary damage to an ammo hoist or handling handling rooms for primary battery in one section. Roll to determine section. There will be a reduction of the number of salvos by half during the next game turn from that section. Oof. I rolled a uh, five. Which I don't know what I was at. I don't know. Okay. We got to <laughs> just roll that. <laughs> so there are two primary turrets, right? All right. So that's, that's the first correct. one. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to roll. We're going to roll one die. Evens, it's the front turret. Odds, it's the rear. Okay. Odd. Rear turret, half range, rate of fire next turn. That's pretty that's much it. Rear. And that is it. All right. Is that, is that half rate of fire or FCS? Half, half rate of fire. That's that. They're slow loading rounds next turn. I think that's about it. Hours. Yeah. All right. And our fire back at you, Aaron. Uh, who are you targeting? So, again, I'm following instructions. Engage uh, opposite. Uh, Blasted the Mikasa. I think that that's. <laughs> yeah. So, that's, continuing that's fire. Fine. 
That would be all four. All four in the time. second division can fire on the Mikasa. Yep. That would work. And now, third can, I still first, can I find the first two at the Mikasa and the next two at the next ship so I don't over concentrate? You can do that. Yeah. Yes, please. Okay. All right. So the first two are going to be at full rate of fire because they were firing at the Mikasa last turn. All right. So my full rate of fire. And what is the range, sir? So from the, oh, the lead ship is just <laughs> over 6,000. <coughs> so you're on the eight bracket. The, yeah. the rate of fire is three. And I have what four barrels? Looks like it. Twelve. All right. Um, and what is your FCS? And the range is uh <coughs> is just over six, you said. So that's medium yes. range still, which is medium believe? range. So your FCS uh, which is six plus one seven. All right. Seven chart, twelve rounds, thirty one percent chance. I'll go ahead and roll it. We have a hit. That's exciting. All right. And now medium range hit location 12. That will be horizontal. What is your horizontal penetration <clears throat> and medium range? Hey, one, thing I wanted to, one thing I wanted to call out is that Rich, Rich mentioned in the live chat that there is no penalty for first turn of fire in Admiral of the Fleet. All changes of target from previous game turn. Yeah, one half rate of fire, C1. I'll be interested to see what, what, what his intention is there. Like, I, I don't know new if... engaging your first target, you wouldn't think I think that's would... probably what it was. Oh, okay. Rich, feel free to call that out. I'm watching, the, I'm watching your comments now if you want to add another comment. But... Okay, let's see what else. There's no... my, my penetration of medium is one for horizontal. Uh, well, there are a lot of comments. So Rich, oh, wow. Rich also, yeah. I'm sorry, I, I haven't been watching it very well. But Rich also did mention that he 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 confirmed what you were saying about the statistical <laughs> the statistical equivalent of the binomial right. distribution. <laughs> so <laughs> yes, uh, which yes, say that ten times fast. <laughs> there we are. Uh, so okay, word of the wise, it's only changing targets. So it's only affected a few salvos because. Otherwise, it was changes of target yeah. rather than, than the initial fire. Yeah, okay. I don't think it affected anything, too. But that, it's good for him to mention where I'm bringing uh, Sea Creek 5 yeah. to the table. <laughs> yep. It's, it's good. Thanks, Rich, for that. <laughs> okay. Uh, where were we? We were 12 rounds. We got one hit. It's horizontal. So the horizontal penetration at medium range for your main guns. Oh, it was one. It's and one. what is... Yep. What is your horizontal armor on the Mikasa? The horizontal on Mikasa uh, is, bear with me, horizontal on Mikasa, where are you? Upper right corner, ah, there we go. protection. Three. Yeah. Three. Okay, so this is a class two. I'm rolling that now. Uh, that is an O, is that a one again? Yeah, O one. Okay. Uh, so you have taken a 202 on turn four. I will read 202 to you. You're really glad I didn't roll that on a class mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. Damage to one primary battery barbette. That mount is out of action next game turn. Roll to determine location. You probably have two main batteries turrets. Let me um, go look. Yes. So okay. bow and stern, basically. Yeah, go for it. All right. Odds, it's the bow. It's the bow. Uh, on an additional roll of 0, 1 to 10, the mount is permanently out of action. I will oh, God. Now. Oh, please don't. That would be awesome. That would be freaking horrible. It is not out of action for the duration <sighs> of the game. Okay. That was a great start. Okay. So, uh, Aaron, your secondaries. How many have you got? And what, what range are we talking? Probably medium again. So, again, remind me on the, the range. So it's just over six. Where are you going from? Is Labia? Or... Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So it would be medium range uh, with a rate of fire of five with five guns firing. So 25 rounds. And what is your FCS? I'm thinking it's going to be three. Uh, it, it would be three. Okay. Four, so uh, we're on four the four charts. Three, three. Yeah. So the first 20 rounds has a 26% chance. Watch it. 
watch out what you're highlighting. Sorry. Uh oh. And uh, those miss. And then the last five rounds have a 7% chance. Nope. Mm. No hit for mm. Okay, your next ship. So uh, Veliki. Yeah, Veliki to uh, the second in line. Hold on one second. Rear. The rear is at half rate of fire next turn. That would be this turn. Oh, wait. The next turn. Next, uh, turn. next turn, sorry. Yep. <clears throat> so we are uh, just under 7K. So it's going to be medium range again. Medium and range again. Here you so are at half fire. rate of fire because you have, you have changed targets. Okay. So that's a rate of fire of two uh, with two barrels, four, halved down as two. All right. And we'll my, FCS, my FCS at medium oh, oh. Is, is six, I believe. Seven with seven. four rounds. Yeah. That's one hit. Look at that. I think it's seven at two rounds, actually. I think I was two hard. No, you got you got four guns, right? Four, four barrels? Uh, uh, yes, that's correct, yes. Okay, so it's four rounds. Uh, that's rate of fire two, half to one. All right, that is a hit. Uh, my roll my penetration is, is it horizontal? This is medium but... range again, right? Yep. Once uh -huh. again, it's horizontal. So your second ship in line is the Shikishima horizontal armor. Uh, my, hold on. Uh, my penetration is only two. Okay. okay. Hold on. Shikishima. Horizontal is three. Okay, so this is going to be a class two again. Curse our luck. We're hitting and then bouncing See, off the deck. Now, so, now yeah. I understand why the Russians didn't do so well. <laughs> yeah, we, we keep hitting the deck. 231. I'll read 231 off. Oftentimes at the table, we'll have multiple of the books, and then we won't tell each other. But yeah, okay. So yeah, the Shikishima's true. bridge is destroyed. Oh, what? During the next game turn, ship must continue on same course at same speed, and you have lost two. It says FCR, which I'm going to guess is DCR. Maybe we check the chat on that one. Because it would be FCS or DCR. Yes, you're right. The, the FCR Assuming is the flag DCR. rating. Oh, oh flag, you're flag right. rating. You're flag right, rating. Right, okay, right, that's, right. It. that's okay. it. That's it. That's it. That's it. <clears throat> Fortunately, that's not your flagship. I'm going to go ahead and. It's tradition in the, in the, in my tabletop group to hit the flag bridge on the flagship. Oh yeah, we and for the hood to explode. <laughs> that was great uh, at Huracan. The uh, the the I hadn't seen some of the guys in a while, but they all remembered when I was <clears> the <throat> hood at Merzel. One County. thing, one thing I was going to call out is <laughs> I just want to make sure which turn this was, but the Slobia had a, had had a damage that was to secondary battery control systems on the port. Decent. Yeah, that's correct. That was last turn, so the the secondary cannot fire uh, so from then, my second ship. Did they had they hit with their secondary. I don't think they had. had no, they? we didn't. We didn't. We didn't. We right. we wanted, fire, wanted, that's correct. Not to be too nitpicky there, but I just wanted to double check. So now I can get rid of that. Let me get. Rid okay. Of that. So um, now we're on the third ship of the line, and he, I had he fired last turn. This guy, Novin. The. Uh, the Navarin? Yeah. Um, he had fired last turn. Okay. I think he fired on... I think he fired on Shikishima last turn. Okay. We're still under eight from Navarin <laughs> so to the... Half, though, right? Yeah, to Fuji. <clears throat> at half rate of fire. Yep. Perfect. And do you want to roll for him? I will. Uh, missed with the primaries. And then the secondaries at half rate of fire... I'm going to guess it's going to be something like 12 rounds. Uh, race fire of three uh, with four guns, 12, yes. So halved is down to six. And that is also missed. That's probably a miss. Okay. And then your fourth ship uh, can fire its forward weapons. And at Mikasa, right? At Mikasa, okay. All right. And you, had, well, you had taken into correct account over concentration on Mikasa before? There's only two ships yeah, but, on Mikasa. Okay. What what is the range on that? Because uh, it, it's got a pretty puny gun. It's only got a nine thousand range. You're at you're at seven point two five, so seven thousand three fifty. So we're good. Okay. All right. So missed with the primaries, 
Your lead ship of the second division does have a shot if you want to overconcentrate, but we didn't we didn't account for that. So, all right, and secondaries from the uh, Nakamov. Yeah, I'll roll that. Yeah, the Nakamov. The, the fourth ship doesn't have the secondaries. The third ship has, it does. Oh, this all right. So the Navarin has secondaries, not the Na uh, Nakamov. Okay, okay. All right, so uh, that looks like that was all of... That's everything that. from that turn? Okay, so now I've got my battle line. I am just under 5k from the uh, Suvorov. Uh, firing again on the Ottawa. So we have um, eight rounds from the primaries. And that's going to be on the 10 chart. So eight mm -hmm. rounds on the 10. I think that might hit. Let's find the 37 out. might hit it. Yeah, I think it probably does. Eight, <clears throat> 10 rounds. Nope, I needed 30. Hmm. Uh, no, sorry. I, it's even worse. That it's uh, eight rounds on the 10 <coughs> chart is 31. So I missed. Okay. Secondaries. That is going to be... Uh, uh, five times six, 30 rounds, first 20. Uh, and this is on the six chart. Six chart, the 40% chance, that's one hit. And then the last 10 rounds, miss. All right. So this is medium range. This is vertical. My vertical penetration is two. And yeah, you... my, my protection is zero, so okay. whatever. Oh, our first class one. All right. Uh, so this is a... It's it's on Ottawa still, right? Right, mm -hmm. Ottawa. Yeah. Yeah. Damage effect 171. Uh, I will read that to you. Mm -hmm. Damage to prop or shaft. For the duration of game, one prop shaft is out of action. So if you look in propulsion maneuver... You'll see uh, the number of props and shafts and the speed with each one. So you cross out yep. the first speed number, and your top speed is now that um, that new lower number. Okay, In my case, so... it's all, a lot of them are like 18 and 9 are the only choices. Yeah, I believe I have, wait, engine prop shaft. Okay, 2, 21, 11. Wait, th do I read it correctly? Because I have propulsion maneuver, prop shaft, and First boy. is two. I assume this is the number of shafts I have. Right. right. So your top speed of 21 is when you have both prop shafts working. So you cross right. off the 21. Yep. And what's your, the next bit? Your top speed next is the is, new number. Yep. Next is 11. So okay. your top now speed not... drops to 11. And you would lose... Uh, I got to look it up. I know what it is in Sea Creek. Uh, I think you can lose half your speed um, down to the new maximum in a turn. So. I think he's then down to that, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. <clears throat> yeah but that, he, her speed is 14, so she will drop to 11. Yes, turn. exactly. Yeah, sudden 522, mm -hmm. sudden lo catastrophic loss of propulsion, reducing forward movement by 50%. Okay. So, yeah, you'll be, you'll go down to 11 next turn. And then your uh, division flag can decide whether to order them out of line or order a speed change for the, for the, the division. Okay. All right. So that's the super off. Uh, now we go to the um, Alexander firing mm. on the. Uh, I think it's the Nikita. I'll look it up just a second. Mm -hmm. Where have we gone, Alexander? Yes, Nikita. Okay. Uh, so primaries under 5,000. So short range, FCS is nine, 10 chart. It's just like last time, it's 12 rounds on the, the 10 chart. All right. 21, I believe it's a hit. 12 rounds, 10 chart. Yeah, one hit. All right, hit, hit location. This is short range. I have finally hit vertical with a primary. My vertical penetration is six. Yeah, the on Nitaka, it's still zero because it's okay. light. Okay, there we go. Oh, Hit location is class one, one, two, five. 
And I will read 125 to you. All right. Heavy flooding causes lists to port or starboard, which we'll randomly determine. No gun batteries fire next turn. Loss of one DCR. And how many DCR do you have? I assume you still have some. <coughs> yeah, he does. He hasn't been hit. Okay, okay. DCR, okay. yeah, ne never hit. So I have seven. It's seven, and in the red box, it's four. Uh, yeah, okay. So you're, fine. so you're not into the more serious internal so consequences. So was the yeah. listing to port or starboard. Right. Okay. Uh, it will be um, it will be port if it's even. You are listing to port. Um, and just note, turn uh, next turn, no fire. Turn five. Yeah, I got five. that on there. Mm. I got it on there. Okay. Secondaries are... Actually, okay. before you move on, um, yeah. if you get a, a penetrating hit like that with a class one, do you get to roll again to see whether there's any... Only if it's a, there's a certain percent chance of an extra damage, you're correct. Right. right. Yeah, don't, yeah. Don't it's not that. like Sea Creek with the with the. Yeah, there's a percent. There should be a percent. Yeah, there yeah. should be a red percentage on your sheet in the top left of. Which who was firing again? That was uh, that was Alexander firing on primaries at the Nikita. Nikitaka. Yeah. All right, Nita. and so. Just, just like Aaron had just said, don't you have a percent chance of an extra damage? Uh, walk me through it. Okay. Um, if you look on I, your I, sheet, could, there should be yeah. a percent on your primaries. There should be a red percentile next to where it says penetration. Aha! Uh Fifty-three -huh. percent. All right, you have a fifty-three percent uh -huh. chance of an extra damage. And Ninety. You failed miserably. <laughs> okay. All, All right. right so here we have uh, thirty rounds for the secondaries. First twenty. Nope. Last 10. Nope. Okay. Moving on to the Borodino. Borodino continuing fire on the Chitosi, I believe. Mm -hmm. I believe that's right. All right. So uh, check the range. Should be the same as the other. right here. Okay. Yep. Under five. All right. Primary. This is going to be eight rounds on the 10 chart. That's going to be no. Secondaries. Uh, that Ooh, might be two hits. Guess, yeah. yeah, that is yeah. going to be the the six column, <laughs> twenty rounds. That is two hits. Yep. Mm. And the last ten, nothing else. Okay, first hit location. Uh, let's see, that is going to be uh, this is uh, medium range, so that is going to be vertical. And the Chitosi, does it have armor? Yeah, one. Okay, so mm. this is this is a type one again, uh, and that's going to be forty-two. Is going to be one thirty-five. Uh huh. You, you got to roll for your extra hit later too, right? Right. Rudder jammed. For the next two game turns, you cannot reliably respond to helm orders. Ship cannot perform emergency turns. Each movement phase, you have a chance you cannot turn to port or starboard. 40%. 1 to 40, not to port. 41 to 80, not to starboard. <laughs> and on an 81 to uh, 0, 0 uh, the, the damage is repaired. <coughs> okay. All right. Second hit location is also vertical. And 84 is... Damage effect 113. Secondary battery turret or gun mount is out of action. It's permanent. How many secondary batteries... Secondary turrets do you have? Yeah, I'm looking at it. Uh, 10. Hmm. Perfect. How could we it? All right. Just go clockwise from the bow yep. or something. Number 5 is gone. Yeah, number right. 5 from the bow, so that's probably your... Stern to starboard. Uh, how, how should uh, I? <laughs> I don't know. Let's just say stern to starboard. There are some numbers, though. E yes, there is. Gun. It's in the. Oh, it is. Then yeah. There's but it's a, one, it's... three, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. But it's for batteries, I guess. Yeah, but hold okay. on. Let's go look at that. There's a there's a chart in the mm -hmm. in the rules. 
looking for it. Let's see. And my additional damage chance is 22%. So when we get there, well, that, and there's more to this damage effect. Trying to find it. Okay, here we go. Yeah, you basically go bow, you know, you go bow to starboard and you work your way around. So just go your foremost, your foremost bow so, turret is one and then just kind of rotate whatever that fifth one is. Yeah, so one, two, three, four. You, you rolled what? Four? You rolled a five. Five, yeah. Oh, five. One, two, three, four. So it's middle one on starboard if I look at it correctly. Some of these actually have numbers on the sheets. I thought so too, but... Yeah, yeah like... they are on the sheets, but the sheet is not, no, uh, not... marking guns, but like batteries. Yeah, oh, okay. Right. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, isn't that what it's saying? Isn't it saying that a whole... Maybe it's one, saying... I have one... one turret or gun mount. Okay. So I, I yeah, I, but but I, but I have it like it's marked like uh, the chart is divided into nine boxes, right? Right. Just it, we're not. So, it's not so it gives one. One is the gun in the starboard. Okay. So From here's back, the rest, here's the rest of the damage. Uh, you have okay. lost one of your secondary battery fire directors. So look at that FCS like directors box for the secondaries. You should have a number like one or two. Yeah, and just two. reduce that number by one. Okay. If you lose the other one, then you you will uh, become much less active. So I have one detector. Right, right. Uh -huh. All right. So I have two twenty two percent chances for additional effects. Uh huh. Maybe check the chat. Make sure we're doing this correctly. Uh, um... Not for the first one. Not for the second one. Okay. I got one more ship, and then we're done shooting. Uh, this is the Orel. The ORL is probably in the same range bracket. We'll find out. ORL on... I got you right there. Yeah, 4,500. 4, Still above 4,000. That's the main thing. Yeah. All right. Primaries. That looks good. That because might, that's yeah. going to be... Yeah, let me just make sure ORL is not different. That's the 10 chart with eight rounds. 10 chart, eight rounds. 31% chance. That is uh, one hit. Hit location. This is vertical. Vertical penetration for yeah. this gun is uh, 10. Ooh. No, sorry, wrong ship. 10. Uh, doesn't matter. Vertical is 1. Yeah, that would be, okay. That would be definitely damage. Yeah. All right, 25. So this is damage effect 110. And... Now, there's no... Uh, uh, unlike Sea Creek, right? There's no over penetration. That's concept. right. Yeah, yeah. That's it. We, we always make portals in Sea Creek. All right. Ready use ammo fire in one secondary battery turret or gun mount. Turret or gun mount is out of action permanently. So, um, again, randomly determine it. And a special roll will be required at the end of the command phase next game turn. On a roll of 0, 01 to zero 09, the ship will blow up. Wait a minute. Zero, 01 to zero 09. The ship, ship will explode, will right? Explode. So we have a a nine percent chance that the the Katagi is going to explode. All right, just just one chance, just one roll of that. Or That's just one roll turn? of it. Yeah. Okay. I was like, now, every turn. Yeah, no, no, just once. Um, uh, uh, I must say, you've had some exceptional shooting. Yeah. <laughs> you want to go ahead and just you want to go ahead and roll that. Let's go ahead and determine. Okay. That. Let's see if it's going to blow up before we go on with the rest of the damage. Oh, that was close. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> 16. Yeah. Yep. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to roll for the additional damage effect from the primaries. Uh, again, no. All right. Secondaries. Uh, we know the drill. 30 rounds, 6 chart. First 20 rounds. No. Last 10 rounds. No. All right. Uh, well, it is uh, 1245. Uh, yeah, this could be a good point for me to stop. Yeah. Yeah, this is probably a good point. All right. Wow. Um, so Save let's go game. back over. Yeah. Let's go over. Let's go over the damage yeah. here. All right. So Ottawa uh, Ottawa has damage to prop one prop shaft out of action. Max speed is now eleven knots. For Niitaka, heavy flooding to port. No guns next turn. Loss of one DCR. Chitose has damage to the rudder is jammed. Cannot reply to helm orders. Chance you cannot turn. 1 to 40, not to port, otherwise not to starboard. 
second battery out of action, stern to starboard, fifth from the bow, starboard secondary gun loss, secondary director loss. So you only, you're down to one more director for your secondaries. Um, now it's Kasagi damage, one secondary out of action. And, and we did not explode. We did not explode, <laughs> but that was kind of interesting. And you got damn close to it, too. That was fun. Yeah. <laughs> Last time my son and I played um, uh, River Plate, he had the Grosh Spay, and my opening salvo, I, I got a penetration through the main belt in an 01 from the, the British. That was a very short am, battle. That was a magazine explosion on the Grosh Spay. That was amazing. I, am, I can't never do that I'll never do that. I again. would like to play River Plat with <laughs> this this rule set. This rule set? Oh, let's, really um, let's talk I mean, a I mean, with Sea Creek. We, we oh, yeah, with Sea Creek is, is great in Sea Creek. I agree. Let's talk a little bit Classic. about Russian damage real quick. So the Suvorov has a loss of one DCR. It's now 14 to 15. I lost I uh, primary lost... fire control on the Alexander. Correct. And that's all. Or Odino doesn't have any. Orel doesn't yeah, have but... any. What about Oslobia? Uh, has one DCS loss. Veliki has temp temporary to ammo hoist rear. The rear guns have half rate of fire next turn, which I think is this turn. So we can go ahead and get rid of that. I think. Well, it's coming turn. Coming turn. Oh, okay. Yeah. And Navarin, nothing. Nakamov. That's it. that's it. I think that's it. Yeah. So, so that's as good. opposed so to the historical battle, yeah, that um, the the one. The uh, yeah, fourth to shore division and third division have volunteered to be punching bags, but that's going to change because you're going to sail out of the danger zone. Your main line will, will right. Action, yeah. So yeah, it's interesting. Uh, if I were no, as don't the say Russians, it. yeah, okay. As, say, <laughs> I say, as the Russians, I'm happy with my decision making. As the Japanese, hmm, mm -hmm. what would I do different? I probably would have turned the the third division away. Otherwise, yeah, you're fine. You wanna you wanna you want to close with me and you're coming my way so well also you have a flotilla of destroyers coming right at you I, <laughs> yeah i was All not right. sure if i have uh, because I, is, I, I thought let's look at that let's what the hell yeah. let's look at it what is your range of torpedoes from the fourth division the, the flotilla so let's yeah. go take a quick look down at to it. two ships mind you so oh you're that. right you're right you're right so no. let's yeah, this is my main problem that I can't solve is I've put the destroyers on the wrong side of the fleet. I know I did that. So. Well, that was from the get-go, right? <laughs> yeah. was, was... So why did you guys decide to turn starboard instead of port? Well, first of all, I, I originally thought Tom was going to turn like this. Yeah, Tom, you know what? I, you, I wanted you had to... to next turn. My, my problem <clears throat> was I, I didn't play it, so I didn't know <clears throat> if I have enough room to perform this 180 and not you know uh hit you <laughs> can you do and, can you can you do an emergency turn in place is there an equivalent of the high seas fleet doing a 180 i don't i don't know yeah uh, I don't well know they would do an emergency turn. they won't right. have i uh, understand historically uh they won't have battle turn away but yeah you could do a line ahead or line abreast you could do uh, like a uh, can't you do a turn maneuver, in place? yeah 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 no that that could have been done but whatever who Whatever. Yeah, because I, I had no feel if I will be able to perform this 180. Uh, well, honestly, he was he was right here. I couldn't do that. I, I yeah. couldn't I couldn't turn in. I don't think you so. Could, you, you were could. saying you were no, Tom. You were saying but you like, were going to do like a 180 here, and so, I was like, well, yeah, I and I plan to do it next turn, right? Yeah. <laughs> and I don't know how because. For reference, can we can we try because how much can I turn? You can in do an emergency turn. turn. Most of your ships, I think, can do a ninety degree emergency turn. Although now I think you have at least one that can no longer. And honestly, if I had degree. turned to, if I had, you know, turned to port, I would end up being cross teed by you, eventually. So I mean, unless you, you I turn be, you fully be here. like this, but. It, but you I want to stay here. within. I want to stay within secondary range here. So why why would I? You know, I want to be within secondary quick fire range, but not so close that your primaries are giving me class ones like left. Yeah, right. maybe we misunderstood each other. No, you would be yeah. you would be well, here. That's the, whole point. that's the whole that's point of the game, right? Very historical. Yes. Yeah. yes. What do you mean? Yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> that's, that's no, you know, I, I planned on do it do this one eighty, but I then see you turn to port and I yeah, decided you, right. damn it. I if if I start doing Starboard. turn yeah. here, I will run exactly into you. 
Third division <laughs> has a serious problem now because if you turn right, you're running yeah. into your own guys, which you could you could deal with by you know Peter can turn out more, and then it's going to take longer. Well, there's to, nothing to stop me from yeah. turning into you yeah. still here or right. not. I mean, who knows? Who knows yeah. what we'll do? There there's things to do. Like if he if he's doing like if he successfully does two turns of emergency turns. Then, then he's pointed the other direction. He hasn't run into you. So yeah, right, you've exactly. got options. You've got options. There are options there. Yeah, and, and, and it has to be noted. I'm doing as well as I'm because I totally violated Russian doctrine. So, so there we are. <laughs> 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 I considered turning the other way, but I didn't like all those uh, uh, Here. destroyers yes. over there. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm avoiding them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and they can make a run at me. They they can do that. That would be yeah, not if not I, so. Uh, that would be in doctrine. If, if they these guys that. slow down, they're still yep, you yep. know. Well, remember like... how fast your destroyers can go. And that's that's actually what I can do with my destroyers is is put the pedal in the middle and get out in front of my formation. It's the only mm -hmm. way they're going to slip in to the mm -hmm. correct side of the battle. Come Other than then go like that, yeah. they can go through the gap between the first and second um, right yeah. uh, divisions. But I think you I can. Gotta can you not enter? Carefully. You can interpenetrate. You can interpenetrate. Lines, right? You just got to be careful. Yeah, yeah. You got to make sure. I, need, I, need to I think we. I think we it. all should. We all should definitely start looking at the movement rules just to make sure we. Yeah, understand yeah. Because there's going to be there's going to be some fancy footwork next time. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, this was great, and uh, yeah, great. I look forward yeah. to. I could probably do this next Sunday, or, or you let me know what works with your schedule. Yeah, we'll we'll pencil that in, and then I'll recheck yeah. with the significant other. See, why yeah. can't I? Oh, I need to sign in. I was like, why can't I? Come? Hopefully, anyway. we'll better cooperate. <laughs> and I and I did save it, by the way. Perfect. So. Perfect. <laughs> All right. So good. Excellent. All right, everybody. Have All a right. Good one. Cheers. Well, Cheers. Well, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, this has been very, very enjoyable. Thank you, Aaron. Thanks for thanks, guys. Sailing with me. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>